Hey, hey folks, and welcome back to Out the Abyss with me, Beanie, and my amazingly awesome, totally cool friends, Laurie. Hello. Matt. Yes, sir. Hello. Mike. Hi. And Phil. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't last this week. Yay, I'm moving up in the ranks. I am I super... Was, I thought I was last last week. You, you don't. You don't get to decide. <laughs> I mean, this week I was just going down the list, admittedly, on my OBS, but... Uh, small hmm. warning, I am super sleepy this week, because, uh, so expect nothing but uh, mistakes and such from me as a DM, but either way. <laughs> nothing uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're nefarious. Uh, Alright. Why are you happy here? <laughs> so, last session in Out of the Abyss, uh, Renlin and his fine crew had managed <laughs> to... Fi fine crew. <laughs> ...had managed mm. to settle in on a uh, island in the middle of the water body that they were boating on. Um, the island itself was uh, mostly fungal, it would seem, with uh, rocky shore that they had set up on. During their time on this, uh, Renlin had a somewhat awkward encounter with uh, another party member, Bipido, who yep. it did seem was attempting to do something to him related to the poison on a small crossbow oh, bolt. My. <laughs> and several times attempted to stab him with it, only for Renlin to resist the effects and eventually um, burn the um, uh, I forget, it. sorry, uh, the Darrow half to death or pretty much all to death, um, causing the Darrow to run away and flee. Uh, as he fled, he did attract the attention of a strange Sverf Neblin, who. Um, approached in the direction that the Darrow was running from and discovered uh, Renlin and his group. After a another strange encounter in which the uh, Swerf Neblin drew his, uh, his, this new stranger, um, Renlin ag agreed for <laughs> Anwar the Gnome to uh, join the group. Yeah, I've got a fan base now. <laughs> and very... Uh, however, this w was followed very shortly after by a roar... A powerful roar that shook the earth itself and sent the uh, sent part of the group careering through the floor and into the depths of uh, some strange structure below. Uh, half, the, half the group up top, um, Turv, Topsy and the Topsy the Surf Neblin and the Drow uh, Sarath uh, were unable to get down, so they shouted down and said they would meet up with the group. Uh, they try and find a way down themselves elsewhere. After taking a long rest at the bottom, however, there was no sight of these two. And so it was decided to explore a little and see if you, uh, you could find them. Upon exploring, the group d uh, stumbled across what seemed to be a sentient gelatinous cube, uh, which agreed to help them. I can't remember specifically what you asked for. Was he leading you out or something? I uh, we just so, asked yeah. him to, if we could move out of the way. That's right. And he was uh, very polite. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not only uh, leading him to a trap, but you know. Uh, after moving out of the way, uh, the party uh, followed him somewhat and were beset by uh, some horrible ooze creatures that almost, well, almost felled the entire group, uh, knocking <clears throat> pretty much everybody except for Renlin into unconsciousness, I believe. Uh, unless and Stool. Stool, Stool is Oh, yeah. Um, however. But I give credit to the mushroom. The, the evil slimes were banished, and uh, as we rejoin our group, Renlin, uh, you and Stool are currently the only people standing. Hmm. That's right. Uh, what are you doing? Um. Well, I'm nearly dead. Um. How's Stool looking? Hello, Stool. I, I believe Beanie has the health, not me. Uh, do do do. Sorry. Um, stool is. <laughs> uh, he's, well, he's not good in any is, case. Uh, yeah. between his current and his maximum hit points, there is three ones. Two of those are his max. Oh, so one out of eleven. Okay. One out of eleven. That was a very confusing way of saying that. Yeah. I'm extremely sleepy, as I said before. I don't expect sense out of me tonight. 
All right. Go. Um. Oh, there it is. Did did the um did the large ooze give us a name for it? It did. It called itself. Um, uh, Gabagool? Was it? Uh, that's that's right. Gabagool. Uh, two seconds. I just need Glabagool. to get the book out of my bag. I took it to work and forgot to get it back out. Look at these. It is weird that you remember that name. Or at least in all fairness, that name. in all fairness, I want to keep him as a pet. <laughs> or at least as a companion. So. Sorry about that. I mean, where, where, where else are you going to find a sentient ooze? That's wielding a mace. Uh, did it drop the mace, or is it it's still carrying the mace? It's still inside, as far as I'm aware. It's also wielding a drow, if I remember correctly. It is. There yeah. is a drow corpse and a mace inside the uh, inside Glabagor. Um. What is yeah, the well... The right map? I was going to say... I'm already on the right map. I'm not. I, I'm not. Nobody else. Oh, yay! Yay! But yeah, um, I'm gonna shout ahead to Glabagol and say, "Hey, are there any more of those oozes around?" Um, a few, about twenty seconds pass. Um, and there's no response. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna pick up. Oh, uh, hang on. Who's the light? Actually, no. Seeing as he's he's my fanboy, I'm gonna pick up Anwar and see if I can carry him like back to the previous room, like room two. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he's a surf member. He is fairly small. Are you picking up yeah, his um I, I metal thing as well? Barring my equipment, I weigh 100 pounds. Without any other, without any equipment, so not too heavy. Um, if I if I can carry both, then yeah, I'll, I'll do that, and I'll I'll say stool, like keep an eye out. I'm gonna bring them back to the previous room, and I'll I'll sort of put him down, sort of sit him up against the wall, and then I'll go and pick up uh, Turvy, and then do the same to him, and I'll for, bring them both back. For their size, you do actually you do actually notice that these Spurf and Evelyn do weigh a lot. Like you realize they must be very dense creatures, like physically, not mentally. Hey, <laughs> they are very dense. They're they not are... very smart. They are very much one with the rock that they have uh, evolved around. Uh, and you are able to pick them up and move them into their room. Uh, did you say if you were picked... Uh, were you picking up his metal tube? Um, I'll I'll bring that back as well. I mean, I don't know what it is, but he seems okay. to... It makes loud noises, I guess. He seems this to like it. Is my boomstick. I'm, try I'm trying to justify myself. I make Laurie make a check to see if the gun goes off, but I'm not that cruel. Um... <laughs> Also, I so, don't think it's loaded. Uh, do you not load it at the end of your turn? Like, attack and then bonus start, action to load? I don't know start with it. I don't know if it'll work without my magic, though. Mm. Oh, yeah, because it's not technically an invention. It's a... Yeah, it's magic thing? Actually, I would, I would actually say that that is up to you. Like, is it, mecha is it mechanical or is it magical? Well, it, uses, it uses lead shot and magical components when I put it in, so... Potentially, it could be fired by it could be fired by some, but it's already magically charged. In that case, yeah, it would be. But either way, as I said before, I'm not that cruel, so it's irrelevant either way. Um, yeah, we're sake, going to rest. Things. Are you going to rest? Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm unconscious. I don't really get much of a say in this. Uh, is this a sh I. short rest or a long rest you're going for? Considering this is the morning, um, it's going to have to be a short rest for a start. I was going to say, you'd be here a bit longer than a normal long rest if you're going for that. Uh, about... well, in theory, it would be a whole day. Basically, yeah. <laughs> That's mm. what I was meaning by a bit longer. Um, about ten minutes pass, and you suddenly start hearing a squelching sound getting louder and louder. Uh, I'll take a look. Is it, uh, is it the, the thing coming back? You kind of Peek down your corridor and there's no... You can't see anything. Are you just going to go to the corner so you can see into the room beyond? Like, bearing in mind, the corridor you're looking down is basically straight and then a hard angle. So you can yeah, so I'm, I'm just I'm just going to wait there. Like, as far as I'm concerned, as long as it doesn't come in here where we're trying to rest, then About it's fine. About two minutes past then, and then you see the very, very heavily dissolved corpse just pop its head around mm. the corner. And, re <laughs> and then, upon kind of blinking a few times, you start to make out the very hard to hard to see uh, solidified liquid that surrounds that. 
and you hear a familiar voice in your head. Oh, hello. I thought you wanted to get past me. Um, we did, but some of your... I don't know if they're your friends or what, but some of the... Some of the, the more evil um, creatures attacked us, and Everything. we're quite badly injured. So we, we need to rest, and then if if you'll allow it, then once we've finished our rest, then we can get past you. Mm. Are there any more creatures like you around here other than the ones we found already? Oh, yes. Well, that answered that question, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I don't know what this place is, but it seems like the... It seems like it is crawling with those of my kin. Although, I seem to be the only one with um, the ability to think. All of them seem mindless. You're a very polite one. I do like you. So hopefully, once we've had our rest, you can perhaps find us a a safer route through through these tunnels that doesn't have so many of your kin in it. Okay. I will remain here and watch for more of my kin then. And he, and thank he can, you. You kind of see the entire thing just kind of settle a bit into the, like, into the corridor, and you and you suddenly realise, like, looking at this corridor, it's about uh, is it five, uh, it is five foot wide, and the size of this glass cube kind of squeezed into it basically means that it's kind of stuffed in entirely to the roof, about fifteen feet up, and is kind of going out and and backwards a little bit in odd uh, I like this like, guy. It's, it's it's jelly squeezed into a space where it's not necessarily supposed to be kind of thing. But he does... I've seen enough Japan to know where this is going. <laughs> he does uh, <laughs> remain there. And with him completely blocking the corridor, you realise that, assuming that he's not a threat, you're not going to have a, any other threats come from that direction uh, without going through him. Uh, Could have finished our rest. The rest, of the, yeah, the rest of the rest passes peacefully. And all right. you're all able to Hit spend... Time. Uh, as many hit dice as you want. Uh, doing your uh, kind of, what kind uh, of hit die does Turvy have? I was about to say, yeah, what hit die does Stall have? I was just looking into that myself. Oh my god, hurry up. Uh, I'm going to go patient. Uh, all of them. Uh, that's one thing I didn't write down for them, weirdly. Mostly it's, you didn't... Not, it's not typically listed in a monster's stats. I expect a monster to yeah. take short rests. I'm, I'm not surprised, honestly. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, not to include you could just say we have four you have six it's 68 68 plus one each 68 plus one dang each so i've got a con of plus zero uh stool Uh, you don't get 68 you said each though oh yeah is it plus one plus one to each those dice yeah, yeah, but so, you said we've got sixty-eight plus one each. Yeah, so is in implying that meant both of us. Oh, oh no, sorry, I was uh, again extremely sleepy. Uh, when you have a long rest and you get your hit die back, does it round up or down what it gives down. you half? Well, down. It always rounds down, but you get a minimum of one. You said D eight, right? Uh, yes, I did. Phil <laughs> stool gets two D six. Of course he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was on one, wasn't I? So, yes. fucking <laughs> nice. Well, you're awake. Well, bear in mind, you know, awake. if you roll a one, you can re-roll. No, it's, can't. it's not level up. This isn't to heal. Uh, oh, it's not the same as level up. Okay, oh, no. excuse me. You know what? I'm gonna use all of them. Uh, stools on six. Ten. No, I'm sure I've got a pencil somewhere. Yeah, I'm exactly ready to go. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, so how much was Stall on now? Uh, well, Stall recovered five, so six. Okay. Uh, what is Topsy on? Topsy on Turbo every fucking time. Turbo. Mm-hmm. Turbo is Turbo. Yep. See, you were having a go at me for getting it wrong last time. It's really easy to mess it up. Uh, it is. Now on, now on 11. Now on 11. Yep. Go on 8 and a 3. And you're only using... Remember you have 68 if you want it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Sorry, I just didn't know if you'd... You know what, fuck around. it, I'll do more. Why not? Uh, that wasn't me telling you you have to do more, I just didn't know... I'm doing it, more, doing it more! 
What's that, Moran? Now I'm on 20. Uh, I've used, well, I've used up all three of my hit die, so I'm currently on 25. Cool. And Renman. Sorry, you're muted. Yeah, no, I'm not talking to you. I mean, oh, what's your wow. current health then? <laughs> what did we do? Oh, what? What's your current health? Current health is now at 22. Okay. Also, I use more hit die, I'm now on 29. 29. Wish okay. I had more hit die to use. <laughs> You'll get back to oh, your character eventually, though, I swear. Do you want, do you want, do you want two of mine, Phil? I've got two left over. I would absolutely love two of hit die are not transferable. Uh, please read the terms and conditions of your short rests. Uh, Damn, I'm only when I signed up. <laughs> you all read the terms and conditions when you joined the Out of the Abyss campaign, right? I mean, I sent it around, oh, it's like obviously. 10 hundred I, pages. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't read the terms and conditions for anything, so no. I totally your soul now. read the entire thing before I just... Mean, I mean, I take a standard warlock contract and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait a second, the Basically standard true. warlock contract when you're playing a stool? Oh. Sorry, anyway, <laughs> so everybody is now awake and feeling sore. Basically, your entire body is where the where you were dissolved, basically burning. Like without actual healing, you're not really in the greatest situation. Like you're basically calloused with blisters and dissolved skin all over your bodies. Um. You notice that they've actually torn into your clothes and even your armor at certain points, although not enough so to uh, actually damage anything. No, not enough so to uh, mechanically damage anything, I should say. So um, everyone's awake, yeah? Everybody is, however, awake. Um, um, Matt's got the wrong token. He's always had the wrong token. Yeah. Uh, well, no, cause we do have a new one, though. Yeah, because the new one is on the other page, isn't it? I Just as a, as a heads up, that is my first one of the session where I try and zoom in on OBS because I've got them side by side again. Uh, Good job. Yep, just keeping people uh, aware. How do I get rid of the blue ring? I, I can't do it. Um, uh, like this. There you go. Yeah. If you right click on it and then go to state, then you can change it like that. Oh, it's what he said. state. Uh, yeah, is it like what state is your character in, basically? Oh, look okay. at the state of you. Um, exactly. Neat. Because I was like, I was trying to play with the Halo, and like, wait, that's it's not working. Bye, <laughs> you, beep. whoever that was. Beep beep to you too. Somebody beep beeped. I I didn't hear any beep beep. Somebody right, are you guys... declared that they were a sheep. Uh. You are you guys ready to head off? Yes. Wait, why yes. do I have a health bar now? Oh no. <laughs> do you? Wait, why do yeah, you? Have a health <laughs> why bar. do you have, have a health bar, bar now? now? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't. <laughs> We just oh. all turn and see uh, Tom's got a health bar floating above him. <laughs> oh shit, that one's got a mana bar! Got it. <laughs> it's sorted. Alright. Well, I'll probably keep them on. Though. Yeah, I'll sort that for next uh, session. So, what, health bars? Yeah, it, it won't be a bad thing to... Won't be yeah. bad, no. Just uh, have one more thing to have to do. Yeah, true. Uh, although it'd be an easier way of me to keep track of it rather than a little card. Hmm. What are you doing? Uh, if everybody's, is everybody ready? Um, I realise that I am currently burning a little bit, and I'm going to pour some water onto some of the burning areas just for the sake of soothing them a little bit. Uh, you pour water on, and it's si and I'm going to make say make Constitution save. Okay, can I do that? Yes, I can apparently. Hmm. Eleven. Eleven. You. Managed to hold in the scream as the um, immense pain shoots through your arm upon the water, touching the um, the burnt uh, blisters and such. It seems like water doesn't react brilliantly with this uh, acid. Okay, so what I need to do is put baking it... soda on it. <laughs> uh, it didn't um, like it's not enough to damage. Like you could, you don't think it'd actively do more damage, but it did, like. It's like it poking, it's like poking the wound. It's yeah. It it just it, it didn't just, really help. Right. It just lets okay. you know it's there. Okay. Uh, like well, that was painful. Well, that that was painful. I wonder what happened if I do it again. <laughs> like oh my god, that hurt so much. Let's do it again. <laughs> You've got a weird yeah. fetish. Uh, like, I'm pretty I sure actually... masochisms are rather well, popular. It's fairly yeah, common. It's one, not one of the, not yeah. that it's not weird. It's just fairly common. 
Um, I actually knew this kid back in school who, like, every time he got, like, an injury or something, but, like, hey, everyone, punch me in my wound. <laughs> Laugh his ass off every then. time. Anyway, I was like, oh my god, that, that was a tangent and a half. <laughs> anyway, dragons. Um, oh yeah, so we're not we're not allowed to talk about my freaking classmates, but we can talk about, mate, we can talk about social, dungeons. We're nerds playing D and D. Shut up. We can talk about dungeons that's and some right. pinky shit that's dragons or something. I don't know. Did you say we dungeons and drag queens? Did nobody it's better tell... when you find the dragon in the dungeon. Sorry, imp important important question here. Did nobody tell Mike what D and D was before we asked him to join join us to play it? Like it seems like well, he's I've got very my gimp mask right here. And <laughs> waiting for you to tell me to put it on. Dungeons well, and Dragons, right? When, when we said it was a fantasy thing, he just <laughs> thought fantasy is important. He, he thought so. we were going on Dragon's Den to sell some sort of S and M company or something. <laughs> oh, I, I thought was... you were just in some kinky fantasy shit. Oh, this makes sense. I was wondering why he was so determined to get the whip as his main weapon. Uh, <laughs> I had a flail for a while, so not the same. <laughs> and the leather armor. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right then. I prefer this game. Can we play this game more? <laughs> no. Bad Mike. Yes. Bad Mike. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes. yes so a bad, bad Mike, Feeny. I'm such a bad Mike. You know what? You're getting mute. No. Uh... <laughs> oh, god damn it. Love it. The worst thing was, I was about to say fuck you, but I don't know what reaction that would get. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so what are you doing? I don't even know. Are you guys ready? I as ready as. Wait, I don't say that. I say nothing. I am in pain, but yes. He's poking his wounds, saying harder. I like it. Uh, I'll I'll turn to the um the giant ooze and say, "All right, friend, we're ready to move. So if you could lead the way and show us the safe route." Okay. Uh, immediately. You notice that he kind of shifts a bit, and you notice underneath him a dabbing? pool of or a puddle of water starts to spread as if it was kind of blocked on the other side of him, and now he's shifting. It's moving in, and as he moves further, you start to notice this is running faster and faster until you realise it was actually quite a bit blocked up on the other side of him, maybe a foot or so Ooh. deep. As it rushes out, oh. it does kind of catch into the feet of um, a few of you, and you do have to kind of grimace as the um, oh, not again. A few lower wounds start to burn. It's not as bad as actively pouring it on your arm. Acidic it's water. kind of in, into your shoes, but it's gotta, not, gotta, it's not acidic. Drink that off. Uh, it's drink not acidic. that shit up. Okay, um, good. But it's um, not nice. Wait, wait a second. So there's the water on the long that this isn't good. You don't remember seeing any water in the rooms beyond that you. There was no into. water. There was no water before, and now there's water, and hopefully not uh, too much. I'll ask water. him. Not, not for nothing, but uh, I'll say, what's, hey, what's where's this where's this water coming from? There wasn't any water here before. What are you looking at? Uh, that is slime. That's like where the um, uh. ground has kind of melted away and dissolved a little. Oh, you mean I assume that left top left corner? It does look like water on the map, but it, it is not. I totally see the slime. It's kind of like. Uzi. I, I, can, I can understand it being slime. I totally get that. I just assumed it was water first. Yeah, me too. That's fair. Admittedly, I didn't describe the rooms brilliantly. But, um, underground it cave is... is assumption that it's water, not slime. That's, that's fair. So um, what, what's, it, what's his response? Well, oh, I, was sorry, what, him, I was asking him um, where, where all this water came from. Oh, I, I don't know. It, seemed, um, it seems to dribble down from uh, other parts of this place. It was quite comfortable, really. Dribbling out of parts, okay. All right, let's <laughs> let, let's carry on. Yeah, we should probably make a move. Okay, and as you move into this room, you can uh, basically you have to go down a little uh, little descent to the point where the water is about an inch deep, maybe. Um, however, the rest of it seems flat, at least. Uh, and you do you're just gonna follow? Well, sorry, what are you doing, Bradbury? Well, you just ask him to move out of the way, or you ask it? So, um, I was asking him to, to lead the way and show us the safe route. Okay. Uh, and you guys just following straight behind him? I am, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. So, I'll be sticking near top C. Can you me. set up your party order then? Sure, yeah. That uh, set yourselves up in single file for the sake of it. Okay. Uh, who's going behind me? I will. I want to stick with you because you are awesome. I guess me and Stool will stay towards the back uh, as much as possible. <laughs> thank you for phrasing it that way. Uh, all right. We'll 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 trail along behind as much as possible. <laughs> I assume like that then. Yeah, that works. 
Yep. Sure. Second time. Well, no. Yeah. God damn it. What? I just noticed. <laughs> I've only just noticed what, I, yeah. what I've written at the top. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, for the sake was where the of, was. I couldn't get player view version of these uh, versions of these maps. Oh, yeah, just like that thing. Uh, the the structure carries on. Uh, you go from this uh, first room where you had the fight into another room, a very similar to the uh, room you just rested in, but a little bit longer. Again, the walls are pockmarked where some, well, you guess these slimes have basically dissolved away at them over time. Uh, it looks like at one point these were man-made artificial structures. However, over this long period of time, any everything has been pretty much eaten away at. Um, so it's very hard to see now. You just see little bits of evidence of it every so often as you move along. Uh, upon going into that room, Club will lead you down another five foot wide corridor that um, keeps going for about 20 seconds before veering right. He then... Uh, he then... Um, Reveal. Uh, I'm, as I said before, I'm purposely not revealing uh, for reasons. Then turns and kills us all with psychic powers? Because he couldn't get play of you maps, so there's going yeah. to be things on there we're not supposed to see, bear in mind. Basically, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, so there'll like, be like secret be, routes or things. traps or secret doors or something. Uh, yeah, the, there might be things on there that I don't want you to see, basically. Um, or random white circles that we spend the next 20 minutes trying to discuss as to what they are. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, he leads you into a room uh, on which you can see the right-hand wall is split into four archways, each of which lead into a, another five-foot-wide corridor each. Uh, to the left, it seems like it, it, the structure is connected to a natural cavern, and a, a tunnel leads off into another room. It looks like that is where the water is coming from, and now you're getting closer, you can actually hear the sound of a low volume of rushing water. Like, this isn't a, this isn't a waterfall or anything, this is like somebody left a tap on. Um, wait, so how many different directions can we go in? You can go left, or you can go through one of uh, the four archways to your right. Um, God damn it. Okay, uh, the water I'm... The sounds like it's coming from the left. Can you not actually, like, draw on I top can, of the I can, darkness? No, I, can't, I can't draw on the fog, no, but I can, I'll reveal a little bit. Again, I'm doing the fucking... <clears throat> on OBS? Yep. Good job. <laughs> Ten out well, no, time. actually, that time... I, I had my mouse on map tools, mm. but I was looking at OBS, so it really confused me. <laughs> oh my god. Why I'm isn't it working? Oh wait, it I'm is. I'm a scientist, you know. Like, I'm supposed to be a smart person. You're yeah, a what so now? So I'm a Laura. scientist. How long has that been the case? Uh, I know! <laughs> yeah, so uh, Laura's a scientist as well, technically. <laughs> technically, I'm a master I'm a of science. science. Mm. Yeah. I think I think everyone right, here is go. technically a scientist. To be fair, though, I'm a macrobiologist, which basically just means I'm a really small gardener. Anyway, yeah. into this. Yeah, that is the funny you, really small. you will now be known Where's as a tiny at? gardener. Where is Blabagool at? I mean, I was anal with this bro. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Uh, so, yes, this is the room you can see. <laughs> we just walked into, like, the toilets? The yes. men's room? <laughs> I mean, this is no, uh, this is going no on with more this disgusting than the other ones you've been in. <laughs> um, I'll ask him which what's in each direction. No, oh, um, I don't know. I've never been this far. It's supposed to be leading us out, and he's never been this far. Yeah, you you were, ta you were taking us on a safe route, but if you're if you've not been this far, then oh, I thought oh, I thought you wanted me to keep you safe. Apologies, I misunderstood. Whilst I oh, if you want, you, to, if you want to, through, but... if you want to stay with us, that's that's fine. I mean, you've been very helpful so far. Um, mm -hmm. So, could you take a look down one of the sides for us? After all, your um, your com your other slime companions um, won't attack you. But if you can have a quick look and see what's down there, and then come back and let us know if it's safe to go that way. Uh, it would help if I knew what you were looking for. Um, just if you could have a look and then come back and describe what you see. Okay. Um, and with that, he kind You're... of, at gelatinous cube pace, which is a complete 10 foot, 
every uh, like three seconds. So not that quick uh, compared yeah, to you guys. Um, he slowly shuffles away, and you can see he, the first route he takes is down the left corridor, uh, the cavernous tunnel. Uh, he travels down that, and you can hear him slip slopping away as he do, uh, does so. Mm. You can ca- you can actually see as he goes into the tunnel, like he, he goes into a room that is temporarily big enough to like fit him in. He then goes into the five foot wide corridor, and it really is just a <laughs> kind of thing. Like it is, it's not oh, a not, not a nice uh, not a nice look. What he did, <laughs> he travels on down it. Uh, about. Two minutes later, he comes back, uh, and then he starts making his way through uh, this archway. Um, makes his way along it. About a minute and a half, maybe, passes, and he comes back. Uh, and you see he actually comes out of this corridor. Um, he yeah. then moves up uh, back to you kind of stopping momentarily here and here you kind of get the feeling that like just through his telepathic connection with you all you kind of get the feeling that he's looking down these corridors although looking is not exactly the best word for it because that's not as very uh, Mm, it's a very alien thing for this uh, creature it's got a very different kind of sight Uh, however he does stop and in in your mind you can hear uh, his um, report to you um down that corridor, and he, you get the sense that he's indicating the cavern, uh, cavern that's to your right. There is a... No, to the right. Damn it. To his, well, to his right. To the right on the map, so east. The east. Yeah. So oh, right. Was, yeah, the cavern that's to the right. Needs more arrows. Needs more arrows. <laughs> you... <laughs> got that. They're swarming! <laughs> I mean, I hear arrows are pretty good TV series, personally. Yeah. So what does he it say? Uh, so he tells you that it is a... <clears throat> um, there is a dead end, but there seems to be a hole in the ceiling through which the water is running. Um, I, it must be recent since the room itself is, has no drainage. Um, the other tunnels all connect to each other. However, they end at a strange door. Or something. I cannot open them. One of you would um, have to uh, open that. Are there any other creatures down any of these routes? Hmm. Two seconds. I actually just need to check something about glass tubes. Glass <laughs> cube. More like glass dude. Am I right? He's great. Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> He's an awesome ooze bro. You can actually look at the description of him. I saw that. I mean, he looks distinctly not ooze, is all I'm saying. He's a brain ooze or something. Like, the actual token. A bruise? That's a brain ooze, yeah. I've not got a chat. For some reason, I've not got a chat this cube. I can't believe that, because this has got all my tokens from our Arrive the Runelord campaign. And I'm honestly surprised that that didn't have any. Um, mm-hmm. Any Dryer's cubes in it. Seems like the kind of thing they throw at you. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm literally the worst. You will be. It's par for the course of D and D. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Um, right. to do. He tells you, mm, yes. Each of those corridors seems to have one of my um, well. Some sort of uh, ooze creature beneath it, but I could not see access to them. But the 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 cavern direction has has nothing in it. It is a dead end. It has a hole, but it is only small. The roof so... seems the roof seems strange. However. It okay, like so each of these corridors you say has one of your companions in it, but there's no access to them. What, beneath, what do you mean by that? They are beneath the ground. How do you how do you know that they're there? That is how I perceive things. I do not have the 
strange things that you see through. I just ah, see. Ah, okay. That does... So, can you, how deep can is you the not... ground? Hmm? How deep is the ground above your companions? Um... Uh, how... How do you want me to... What... What... Am I measuring this in? Um, I'll basically, like, if you just look at me for a sec, basically mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is i like... Measure it in clavicles. Uh, you... You see, like an, this? you see an this image much? of Renlin kind of uh, form in your mind, uh, like doing that pose of holding his hands uh, together. And then his arms kind of stretch, like it's a very disturbing image as they allow for um, Glebacool to show you uh, about, uh, like the hands move to about 10 foot apart. Okay, that's that's good to know. I I, I was worried that the the ground might be thin and uh, I might collapse if we stood on it, but sounds reasonably safe. Um, lead the way towards the door, then. Mm. Right, so let's have a look, and we'll let's have um, a look at what's inside. I don't think you'll be able to get past me unless we take separate tunnels. There is very little room between the where the tunnels end and the doorway itself. Um, all right. Um, I tell you what, then. Um, you wait here and keep a lookout for us, and let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, and find this door. Okay. And he does kind of wait there for a few seconds until he realizes that you're kind of standing there expecting him, and he then oh, and backs up a little, allowing you actual access to the tunnels on the left or the west uh, side. Right. And as as he went through this way first, I'll sort of go to this tunnel, have a look, and then like. Does anyone follow me? Yes. Just a single file line, so... so you're I'm gonna, everybody's just moving yeah, I'm going to very carefully move forwards, step by yeah. step. Roll me a... Oh dear, I don't like this. Well, this is, this you is never a... like it when someone says roll. This is you being careful, right? So, roll me a perception check. Uh, apologies, me mute myself a second. Eleven. I mean, like, if you guys can see past me, I'm guessing at some point you can do a roll. Apologies, I, mean, I still have the laggy as well. Uh, I'm a fungus, is all I'm saying. Uh, and I'm a nervous child. I would say I would say that the corridor is thin enough that there's not really access for anybody else to give it a good view. If Anwar wanted to, I could say he, uh, he could do a perception check at disadvantage just because he'd be kind of looking through your legs and such. Oh! Kinky. Right. Well, I was talking about the kinky earlier. <laughs> Looking through his legs, not at his legs, guys. Wait. I mean, yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> that came out wrong. Uh, <laughs> or maybe it came out exactly how you meant it to. Uh, anyway, so are you bothering to look, uh, Matt? Um, I'm just going to be following, following the stroke right behind Mendon. All right. In that case, I'm going to need you to make me a dexterity save, Laurie. Oh, God. Fourteen. That's so enough. Bad. That is enough for That's you fun. to grab the edge of the pit that suddenly opens up beneath you. This, oh. this is why I asked how deep the ground was. I mean, and he said, no, he, he, he asked, you asked how deep this, uh, his buddies were. Damn it! How deep the ground was, where his buddies are. Yeah. I literally said how deep the ground is. Yeah, and he, and he told you how deep his buddies were. Yeah, yeah it's ten feet. Bear in mind, it can be deeper where his buddies are. Oh no, you you fully realise that this is likely where his buddies are, as you as you see what at first appears just to be darkness at the bottom of this pit, like five foot below your now dangling feet, and then you see the darkness shift and a slight glimmer. Oh, I'd be backing up. You guys are uh, using. Um, well, you're currently hanging I... on the edge of this pit. Um, I may not be particularly strong, but I'm going to do anything I can to help him up. <laughs> You're for what it's worth on this square. I will say you get a, th a free arcane roll if you want to um, identify this, Laurie. Please. Like just as upon glance. Turns out it's a hole. Is that the pit? 17? Yes. No, that is the pit. Okay. 17. You recognise this is another ooze creature. You've heard 
stories of this kind of creature. You don't know much about it, but you know that they're a much more deadly uh, form of ooze, one that you don't particularly want to get in contact with. It is called a black pudding, and they are not oh, nice no! creatures. Oh no! Oh yeah, doesn't sound very threatening. Across apart these from, before. You know, oh pleasure. yeah, well. In our Pathfinder campaign, we came across a black pudding, and it was basically just destroying a forest. Uh, one thing you do oh, remember, is, one thing you do remember about them, one of the big famous things about them amongst the stories, is that it's said that whenever you hit them, they simply split, and then two will attack you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's why. I'm do I know how you can actually wrong. destroy them, though? Uh, you don't from that role. Um, I will say... Can Turvy check it? You can't see it. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I will say that with Anwar's help, you can have... Well, first off, you can do an athletes check to climb up, but with Anwar's help, you can have advantage on that. Uh, and you do realise that you probably want to climb up quick, so the thing is starting to shift and climb 19. up the wall at you. Uh, 19? You managed to pull yourself out of the pit with Anwar's help, uh, backing the I'm entire... Helping. Yay. Ah! Fuck's sake. Five... <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I can't get my head around that. Uh, you managed to pull yourself away from the pit. Uh, I will, however, need to grab a black pudding. Why, are you hungry? Yes, <laughs> I was about to make that joke. I was trying to figure out the best way to make it. I was going to make a different joke, but... For oh, people, Jesus but... Christ, that's big! That's, that's quite large. That's the path that's strange how that works. Oh, oh boy. I think, it's, I think they are that. Uh, I think that's the right size, though, because they do... Uh, it depends on oh the individual one, really. Yeah, also true. Sorry, bear with me. This is the thing, I bet there's one of these tunnels doesn't have a hole in it. But I don't know which one. <laughs> okay, they're only that big. Uh, however, yeah. Everything you remember of the, of the tales of these creatures makes you realise that you do not want to fight this thing. Who named it Bob? God damn it. <laughs> Literally two seconds, guys. Well, you can't name it, then you'll get attached to it. <laughs> no, you don't want to get attached to it. That's the problem, Mike. I know, right? <laughs> I'm saying. But it wants to get That's attached dangerous to all you. around. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Um, it is currently well, starting to climb up the edge of the pit. I, I'd be backing up, say, back up, get out of there. You don't want to fight that. I'm going to follow his <laughs> instructions and back up. I'll say, Glabagul, could you block off this corridor? Okay. And it starts to move up uh, as everybody's starting to move away from there. Um, and he does kind of school. Ah! Six. What? He does... Just ignore me. Uh, Number of times he's fucked up. Uh, mm -hmm. He does move on to the uh, into the corridor and squish into place. Uh -huh. I say, uh, okay, right. Try and try and keep um, that friend away from us. Actually, uh, you do note as as he squeezes in, you can actually see through um, Glabagool, and you can see the the kind of ooze kind of just squishing against him, like. Almost like strange what? ooze like sex. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Interracial. Uh, ooze. You, you then realise that it is just the black pudding attempting to get through Glabagool, but not really. Oh my. Like, their acid doesn't seem to affect no. each other. Oh my. Is you that have to go some very now? special sides for that kind Damn of right. stuff. Ooze on ooze I've got to say, if you're, if you're acidic, then there's some medication for that. <laughs> um. Saying. I mean, right. if it burns, you should probably go see a doctor. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Just add, just add a some alkaline, it changes their, uh, their alignment completely. <laughs> so, basically, the, the floor basically just sort of collapsed, right? Mm -hmm. About five, five by five part of the floor. So, I'm going to have a look down this corridor. Now, being aware that the floor itself might fall apart... Well, is there anything I can... Ah, oh, 19. You do realise there is cracks in the floor uh, a bit further down the corridor. Uh, damn it! Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Why just minimise OBS, man? 
I want. I, I, I keep OBS on so I can make sure everything's working right. It's not going to. But stop Sean, you're anything. not working right. I'm also using OBS for your guys' cameras, so I can kind of look at OBS and towards the camera and still getting used to it. But that is actually a thing I'm trying to do to make it a little better. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know why I've unfogged it this much, but you basically know what's down there anyway. So. Ah. We don't know what's in that specific you triangle. No, no you do. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll I'll do the same for this one. Looking out for cracks in the floor again. Roll perception advantage. Oh shit! Yeah, it looks fine to me. This corridor surprisingly does look completely empty. Like you can't see the cracks in this one, so it must be fine, right? I'm gonna just unlock right. this. Ignore the giant checkered box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably not. Important. Damn it! I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be remaining by Redland for the sake of yeah, Redland. Hey guys, what's this checkered box? Maybe we should walk over it. Well, I don't <laughs> see a checkered <laughs> box. This is this is the downside about this sort of thing. It's like I have to role play Redland not noticing it's this. The cruelest thing you All can right, do as a DM is put something incredibly dangerous in front of a player and say, "You don't see that." Can I look down this one? Um, roll a perception check. I, I don't know what my perception is. Give me two seconds. You have oh, a Matt. perception of two. Oh, uh, that's actually correct. You kind of know what you're looking for as well. Like, you, I'll give you advantage on this as well. Woo! So, roll the big... first is... An eight. Roll the second yeah, is yeah. a nineteen. Great. There you, you go. Notice that there is also a check uh, a checkered box, a trap. <laughs> Almost eight. Not quite. Uh, they are still in that, that one corridor. I just need to move it to show this corridor. Yeah. Uh, there is still a uh, or there is a loose bit of uh, flooring in this one as well. Oh, God so they were it. all trapped. God yes. damn it. Yes. <laughs> Uh... Not well, that we know then. this, but they also do connect to each other. Not that we know uh, that. Yeah. No, no, the bottom, the bottom was the bottom oh, was yeah, the bottom that. wasn't trapped. This was safe. Oh yeah, totally safe. Yeah, yeah as far as we safe. know, this is completely safe. It's the only safe one, in fact. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to fall into a. I don't want to fall into a black pudding. I really don't. That's well, right. There's, there's, there's no black Seriously, guys, guys, stop! You're making me hungry. Please I mean. Stop. I'm still, I'm still on the lookout. Food is my trigger, man. As, as far as I can tell, there is no, there's no, tra there's no trap on the floor. But I'm still on the lookout, very carefully walking along, and then the floor falls down. So what we're rolling for this? Uh, it's another dexterity save. You don't get advantage for because you're aware of this because it's the same logic out of when you're concentrating on looking for one thing and you don't see it. You kind of your concentration is somewhere else. All right. So nine, nine. Suddenly. Uh, what's your strength, Anwar? Uh, my strength? Yeah, curiosity. Well, you see, my strength is eight. Yeah, never mind. It's I was very giving you an extra question. save to help him here, but with a strength of eight, it'd do more harm to you than uh, help to him, I'm afraid. Uh, so, suddenly, Renlin just <laughs> disappears downwards in front of you. Bless you, Alex. Uh, 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 and Laurie. Hmm. How dead am I? Yes. Be honest. On a scale of one to yes, probably. What are we? You're not wearing any armor, are you? No. Okay. So, where's my bag of dice? Where's everything? Ah, so prepared. Amazing DM. Now, how quickly can I do a bonus action? Uh, on your turn. Fortunately, and this isn't me fudging anything actually, you only take one point of acid damage. <laughs> okay, it's uh, a good thing I've still got my temporary HP. Wait, don't you lose temporary HP in short rest? No, it's on a long uh, rest, you lose it. Okay. Is it? Yeah. I feel like it's a short rest. No, you keep it in. It's like that's the thing. Like you can you can refresh it. Oh, but that's every time you kill something. So actually, you lose it on a long rest. You take one acid damage, and you also take. 
So here we go. This is this also isn't that terrible. I just forgot something. <clears throat> this isn't also that terrible. He says he roots around for more dice. Sorry for the rolling sound, guys. Uh, you take two bludgeoning damage just from the fall. So, have I fallen on top of one of these you things? Have fallen on top of a black pudding. Uh, this is initiative time. Lovely. So, yeah, everybody roll me initiatives. Not bad. Mm. Initiative is Dex, uh, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. Same rolls before. Wow, okay. Renan to the. Okay, cool. I'm wrong. So, first off, the black pudding. Well, though. With its amazing minus yeah. three modifier. Sounds about right. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like the kind of initiative I'd have in real life. With its amazing <laughs> minus three modifier, 17. Yeah, I figured as soon, wow. as, soon as you started laughing, it's like you rolled a nat 20, didn't you? Yep. Shit. <laughs> Anwar, what'd you get? Uh, Anwar got 11. Glamagul, what'd you get? He got... Three. Nice. Stool, what you get? Thirteen. So you you're going second, basically. Turvy, what you get? Well, with my dramatic increase of plus two initiative, I got four. Hmm. You should get a yeah. plus two and get two. I rolled a two and Remen? have a plus two. Yes. Seventeen. You actually go first. Very fortunate. How am I going to get the fuck out of here? The walls are climbable. You could do an athletics check on them if you wanted to, or if you have another alternative to get out of there. Uh, it is you who goes first, so what are you doing? Um, now I have a uh, misty bye. step. That's to an empty space that I can see, but is it possible that I can misty step onto the, the top edge? Or yeah. can I just... You can... So I could just misty step to... Like you, there. Yeah, you, you can misty step to either side of the pit, basically. Because you, can, you like, can see them. It's almost more of a, you're misty stepping up to the top of the pit and then stepping downwards, like landing on the on the floor, rather than actually appearing up there, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, in that case, my bonus action will be misty stepped over there. Mm -hmm. uh, how many spells do I actually have? Two. Seven. Two, yeah, I've got That's two. Okay, nice. so misty step over there. I guess appear so. up there. You do actually hear something. Uh, up to this point, there's been a kind of slop, slop, slopping uh, as the black pudding has been oh, attempting to get yeah. through um, Glabagool. However, that's now stopped. Oh dear. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Wait, the sound stops and now you don't like the sound of it. <laughs> well, it's more like the fact that it's gone, oh, okay, I guess I'll just turn around and go the other way. Which means it's going to bump into me. For a minute, I thought you were saying it's going to bum you. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. <laughs> Black pudding not bumming. Not what you no. Want. No, no. Not a good time. You buy the um, message. Unless you're into that sort of thing, I guess. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Who isn't? Rendered, apparently. But yeah. yeah, assuming that that's exactly what it's going to do, uh, I'm going to try and stealth. Okay, roll me a stealth check. Ah, uh, hmm. oh, shit. Uh, well, I'm sure it can't hear me, so... Can it hear? Yeah, you... So you crouch down and attempt to get to the door without making any noise. You are very aware of the crunching sound as you seem to basically stand on every loose stone now, however. Uh, you do get to the door. That'd be your full turn. That's my full turn, yeah. yeah. Uh, in which case, yeah, I've got. Well, actually, hang on. I've got no. I've got an action, haven't I? Um. Uh, no, your action was to stealth. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah, that's my. Uh, as for the break, for the bonus. Uh, do, do, do. 
check something. I like how the black pudding picture makes it look like it's going, Damn you, kids! <laughs> you killed like my lord! Like uh, black pudding. This one suddenly seems to appear. Shaking, shaking maracas. Yeah, because this actually came from Tunnel 2, didn't it? Not yes, this. it did. Oh, look, another one. That's the one that, uh, that uh, Renan just landed on. Uh, right, this one right. climbs out of the pit. And makes its way this direction. Oh no, I'm so dead. This character's oh. dead. Don't worry, I'm gonna help. Fortunately, they do not get to attack this turn. Fuck and me. What? what did you even find uh, over there? Isn't it still first? Uh, oh, sorry, you have managed to reach the door as well. Worth mentioning. Like you, Currently you have two black oozes, fairly large things, basically taking up the entire corridors. Like These corridors are entirely just black now. Like, coming in right on you. And behind you there is a door. Oh, isn't stool before me? Uh, stool got 13 I, actually, no. I didn't actually, yeah, I didn't organise these at all. I just put Renlin at the top and decided that was good enough. <laughs> What's some initiative? <laughs> ah, that's probably fine. <laughs> DMs! Uh, it's like, DMs. The, the black puddings even oh, have Mike. to go then? Or are they actually the boss? No, the black puddings are the important part, don't worry. I, I, I know. Uh, stool, what are you doing? Uh, Stool's unaware of anything that's going on, so Stool's going to stick by. You can hear. Uh, uh, the... saying that. No, you can't. Stool doesn't hear yeah. things, so yeah, it actually makes sense that. Stool, Stool's going to stick by Turvy because. Why not? Anwar, what are you doing? Speaking of not hearing things, <laughs> pump it up and take a shot. Okay. I don't know what these things are. I will say, you can also roll, now you can see them, you can roll a arcane check on this if you want. Arcane check? I think I know that thing. Mm -hmm. I hope I know that thing. <laughs> I know that thing. Are you going to realise it's perhaps a bad idea to shoot? I don't know, am I? Yes, 25. Oh boy. You're probably going to realise. So, You're going to load your gun and go, wait, that's a terrible idea. Wait, yeah. wait shit, no. <laughs> Uh, being a denizen of the Underdark, you are aware of a lot of the creatures that come and go amongst its uh, territories. Black puddings are some of the, not the worst, but definitely some of the nastiest. They, um, they are ooze creatures that have the ability to duplicate themselves upon uh, being attacked uh, by certain attacks, uh, in specific, uh, specifically slashing attacks and lightning attacks. So slashing and lightning will cause them to split. Uh, yes, you also realise that based on your own abilities and the abilities you've seen of these uh, people around you so far, you don't envy your chances against these against one of these things. I and don't envy my chances. Wait, what do you even mean not. by that? As uh, in, he reckons we're gonna die. Base, oh. uh, basically, you don't you don't think there's a good survival chance against these things unless you manage to. Unless one of us is actually. You know, well, actually, not shit. Ba basically, Unless... fighting should be the plan F here. Okay. As in, we are plan all. A As in, we is... should run first, then we should try running some more, and then we should run some more, and then maybe, possibly, we bear the thought of potentially fighting them. Then we sacrifice a go to him, Hotel. Yeah. First things first. That's though, like that's these money. Things are attacking yeah, Renlund, yes, yes. Uh, sacrifice attacking Renlund. God, yeah. I can't get to Renlund, but what I can do is try and draw their draw some attention. Draw their attention. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. So pull out from the pull out from the cannon. Charge up the shot. Pump. You know, eight pumps. Let's go with that. Pump it up, dude. And pump it up. Bang! Like. That's a crit. Huh? Oh, no, that That's was that was my that was my that was my Arcana roll. I'm making my oh. attack roll now. <laughs> Sorry, I've not looked at the computer screen since you made that roll. Um, ah. Excuse me, I'll just roll their helves. Oh shit. Um. A sec, I just realised that I haven't actually set any of the stats for Anwar, which I kind of probably should do. And he, Anwar is owned by Anwar. Uh, 15. Uh, cool. Oh, that's the, a hit. Uh, I'm just, that will be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easily okay, a hit. So it's, uh, it's basically... damage and one force. At this point, for what it's worth, um, 
this these tokens aren't really hugely great for slimes because the actual ooze itself basically takes up every space between here and I would say here. Like basically oh. it is squished into the corridor. Like it is um, with you. basically ah. long wise instead of round wise, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um sorry if I wasn't clear on that before. I've forgotten what I rolled for Oh uh, wait shit. Did, 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 sorry, no, it's not force damage. It's not force damage, it's thunder damage. Thunder damage. Uh... Yeah, you said light. Li you said lightning damage was bad. Did say one, lightning, right? damage, lightning was bad. damage. Yeah, I just wanted okay, to check yeah. myself, so I could easily okay, get yeah. those two confused. Thunder damage know, is right. fine. Thunder damage is fine. Thunder damage is what I deal. I need to change that. Uh, and then the second one is the thunder damage. Huh? Thunder damage is basically sonic. It's the sound damage in this. It's what thunderclap does as well. You're yep. too slow. Uh, I was just thinking for some reason in my head I had it in that. There's not both thunder and lightning. There's just one or the other. No, but they are both very There is lightning down. Uh, there is. I think in the, the, in, the old, in the old versions it was electric and sonic, but in this yeah. it is lightning and thunder, which is weird. Like that. That seems to just. That's only. I don't, I don't mind using lightning and thunder. My issue is, why call it thunder? Uh, because it's so lightning. I can see making and, sense. I'm a guess, and this is my theory, is that Wizards basically, one of the first spells they thought of for the 5th for edition, one of the first new spells, was Thunderclap, and they said, this is probably. a good spell. I'm going to make a damage about it. Hmm. Also, they're probably going to move on the next turn, but that, that still works. Wrap it out. There we uh, go. It's what would that grow how dead I am. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the bullet... Uh, how much did you say? It was 11, didn't you? Uh, for, no, 13 piercing and 1 thunder damage. Alright. Ooh, 1. Uh, uh, hey, it's a d6, uh, okay? Could be, uh, be worse. The bullet flies in, and you kind of... It, you hear a... as it basically <laughs> goes into it, and little bits of black acid kind of fly back out, splattering the ground near you, and as they splatter the ground, uh, in a similar fashion to how the Graves did it, but on a much, much more serious scale, the ground sizzles and burns. You can actively see a hole forming an inch deep within less than a second, as this acid is incredibly powerful. Although, as a, um, as a person of um, intelligence and arcane affinity, you do start to think, you could probably make some good stuff of this acid. I don't. I'd love to if I had anything to bottle it up with. <laughs> Either way, it is now. Just eat it, then you can just like poop it out later. Turvy's turn. <clears throat> um, I'm unaware of all of this apart from the fact that I just saw him take a shot, right? Uh, you just and well, you definitely heard him at take least a hear shot. It. You can also. Uh... Well, you you'd have heard. I would say there's something going on over there. They've accidentally kind of soundproofed the area around Redland, so you can't hear any of his screams or anything. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. He, we would have heard. He would have heard the, the sizzle. Yeah, that's you definitely heard the gunshot. Yeah, I, say, sizzle, yeah. gunshot. I, did, I did say. I did call that. Mm. Probably I something guess. on the lines of "I'll help you, Redlin." <laughs> I rush down here and be like, "Oh," then rush right on back up there and stay there. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what else to do in this situation. Uh, <clears throat> so what clap yeah. should I make then I after Renan's death? I didn't, I didn't uh, expect to go to that side of the pit. Still need... Um, you gave us the mystery oh, doors, a... Beanie! What the fuck was gonna happen? I know! <laughs> uh, like, I basically have it? one option here, which is I need to open the door and then close it behind oh, yeah. me. <laughs> You fool! They... That whole room is oozes! <laughs> where they keep all of the black oozes! Black ooze storage! Glabagul... Uh, 8. Or is that 9? Uh, Glabagul backs out, and Amor, you hear in your head, um, Get behind me, and I will keep them off you. Um, but what that about Renlin? turn. Renlin, what you doing? <laughs> what about Renlin? He's fucked. Okay, so describe this guy. door to me. The door itself is nothing hugely special. It's, it's, it's a door. Uh, it is a movable partition between two hey, rooms. Hey, if it has a gigantic there lock in it, I'm basically just going to die. So, 
Um, the door itself is a, it seems to be a stone door. Um, however, it's not. you can't really make out any like detail on it. It looks like at one point it was carved and there was probably stuff in it. Like Every so often you can see little flecks, but it looks like oozes have basically dissolved away at this as well. Um, so much so that very at certain points it is very uh, very deep into it. You can actually see it. it's probably about half a foot wide, and at some points the um, uh, the oozes have dissolved into it to maybe leave half an inch of actual door uh, still in that position. Uh, it looks it's there's no lock or any mechanism like that. It just looks like you could push it open if you wanted to. Uh, I shall do so. Okay, you push it open. And the room you see beyond. This room contains a stone oh, no. fountain with a raised edge. Uh, with a raised edge. Uh, the basin contains shallow, brackish water. Uh, and at the centre of the pool, the rubble of a broken statue rests atop, pe- rest atop a pedestal. Uh, all that remains recognisable are a pair of clawed stone feet clutching the pedestal's top. And you can see that water is seeping into the uh, into the room, into the fountain, from cracks in the uh, uh, in the wall and the roof above. Let me guess, you're not going to reveal it because there's something in here. Uh, I'm no, I won't reveal on. it. I was just reading the description. Okay. Mm, yeah. No, it's a dead do. end. You're it's running much. circles. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is a dead end, but at least I'm hoping I it can is unfortunately a dead shut end. the door. Well, put it this way: at least I'm not as dead as I was a second ago. Alright. I don't know, you seem pretty dead based on the size of this room. Uh, you do. Yeah. So you get into the room and immediately turn around and throw yourself against the door, kind of blocking yes. it shut. For what it's worth, the door itself is quite well made and does tightly fit into the gaps. You don't think the uh, oozes will be able to get through the cracks um, from what you've seen of them so far. Like, the oozes are malleable, but there does seem to be a limit on how malleable, dependent on their original size. Nothing All right, and I hold the door shut, and I call for help. Not that anyone can hear me, but I don't know that. Odor? Uh, oh, no. Odor? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Odor? Uh, could everybody else make me a perception check? That entirely just depends. To see how fucked I am. Oh, well, no. You know That's, that, that, that doesn't need to be made. That's an automatic uh, thing. Oh, I accidentally rolled twice, but so you can see what my first yep. one is. Uh, this actually, unfortunately, wouldn't be relevant for stool. Just Why to wouldn't your... it? Because you can't hear. I can hear. Uh, my he doesn't, say... he doesn't have death written on him, so... Because uh, the, the way they communicate, the way I understood it anyway, was that they don't have... The same way they don't have... He can't, he can't speak. Well, there's nothing to say he can't hear. Uh, two seconds. No, you're off. No, you're off. Bet me. Also, is uh, is Turvey's keen senses going to do anything with this? Wait, he hasn't got. It will be he does keen, on this. keen smell specifically. Someone setting off fireworks. Hey. They do that. Doesn't surprise me. They've been doing it for weeks. To be fair. <laughs> they need any reason. To be fair, I did find out yesterday was, or last Diwali. night I should say, was Diwali. Diwali, yeah. Diwali, Diwali, however you yes, say it. Diwali, Diwali. Is pretty and certain it's got a V that. sound in it. Uh, it's a uh, Indian <laughs> festival of light or something. Hindu festival Hindu, of light, yeah. yeah. It doesn't say yeah, otherwise. I was going to say, I thought it was a bit odd that there was some people like, lo- like lighting off some fireworks the other day, and I was like, Jeez, the weird thing is, it was like pouring it down with rain at the time. <laughs> Doesn't say otherwise, so we'll say that the you can hear. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, so uh, but yeah, my my keen sense is actually specific Sorry, keen uh, smell. What what did you say uh, there? Yeah, that uh, we'll say that you're fine because it doesn't say in the book you can't hear. So yeah, you can say it. It doesn't say you're afflicted yeah. by the death. It was just death, in, in my so. head. I think I had a different kind of uh, view of how uh, Magnet works. Uh, either way, so it's I can't. Fine. I... Actually, I can see. It's not blind sense. You've got that. you've got oh, eyes oh. like. It's just a picture of Mike and it's, uh, like, uh, give me a sec, I'll, I'll show you what I'm I always see Mike and it's as kind of like those Mario <laughs> mushrooms, but with feet. So, like, they've got two little eyes. Admittedly, yeah. Actually, uh, think, Mike has died. 
Oh, wait, no, no, no back. Like he froze for a second there. If you think of uh, Toad from uh, Mario, he also doesn't have ears. So technically he should be able to, but yeah. Uh, True. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. It's actually quite a nice picture of the mic and it's. Yeah, I've, I have I have seen them before. Like I, I appreciate it. you can't really you raise up a bit ears or anything uh, on them. But... There's no because there's no ears or Higher? like anything. It's... More. It's the one on the right that I was okay. left. Like... But yeah, um, hey boy, we'll say they can hear for the sake hmm. of ease. So yes, uh, everybody, uh, everybody except for Tur. Already forgotten. Uh, Turvy. Turvy. Uh, everybody except yeah. for Turvy. Here's a <sighs> sounds like somebody muttering from um, seemingly the corridor that leads to a dead, to a watery dead end. As in the one the oozes are down, just to remind me. No, as in down this the one. The one we've not been down. Yes. Right. Oh. Okay. Boom. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a teleportation thing. Hmm. But yeah, whose goes it? Uh I didn't hear it then. It's the black puddings. They flail mindlessly at the stone door. Uh, everybody can kind of well, uh, Renman, you can kind of hear a sizzling noise. Uh, yeah, I, I think I already know what that is, so I'm just going to continue panicking. Stool. Uh, stool's stool's going to stick near. Turvy. Thank you. you. I remember, want to play Turvy um, this time. <laughs> you can remember Glabagor said to stay behind him and he'll keep you safe, so that might affect what you decide to do. I mean, not really. This is Stool. He We're doesn't know Glabagor, so... Also true. We're pretty safe over here, in fact, so, you know. And also, yeah, to be fair, I am already behind him. Yeah. Depending on what you consider behind. Anwar? Um, Anwar isn't worried about keeping Anwar safe. Anwar is worried about the fact that Renlin is currently being beset by black puddings. So Anwar is going to ignore the heroic gesture from Glabagul, and he's going to take another booming shot at the black pudding. Okay. Uh, roll your attack. Booming and... shot. Uh, one sec. Uh, hope he's not going to miss. 16 for uh, 9 piercing damage and 2 thunder damage. There is a, another as the bullet sinks into the uh, creature and seems to affect it. Mm. You know what? Affecting it a little bit is better than not affecting it at all, so anything I can do to help. That's true. Uh, Turvy doing anything? No. <laughs> like, I don't know what I could do here. That's, that's fine. Uh, Glabagool is... Mm. He holds off for now. He's not gonna do anything. Renan, what are you doing? You just hold the door shut. Um, I'm gonna hold the door shut, but I'm gonna sort of, like put put my back against it, so that Wait. I can actually like Here push against it. But also have a look at this room again. Make um, a perception check. This is relevant to the door, not the room. Uh, all right. And then you're looking into the room itself. Uh, make a yeah. perception check. My favorite. Something, 21! Something That's a much better roll. You see glinting coming from the waters mm. in the fountain. Yep. Something, something, fountain is magical. Fountains are always yeah. magical in this something game. shiny is in the fountain. Oh boy, you're gonna die, but at least you'll die rich with the money from this wishing well. The puddings. There is some... Well, hang on, you said, you said glinting. Like, can I assess anything from this, or is it just... From, That's position, it, from glinting. the position where you're standing, bearing in mind that... What light source are you? Oh, you've got dark vision, haven't you? Mm hmm You've got dark vision? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so it's not so much glinting you see, actually. You actually do make out beneath the waters, there is the strange strange rough shapes that don't seem to be like a uh, manufactured an artificial bottom. 
Instead, it kind of looks like this could... Like, it reminds you of the kind of fountain that people would throw coins in. Like, it looks like the bottom of a kind of... Oh, for fuck's fountain. sake, don't say it's... that, because now I want to see if there's money in there! I thought you were going to say, the bottom of it, it doesn't look like an artificial bottom, almost like it's a noose. <laughs> More specifically, a black pudding. <laughs> the puddings. <laughs> there is a sudden... Uh, an, uh, Renan, you can still hear sizzling no uh, noise, and then there is a... And everybody on the other side, or sorry, everyone on the other side, you can actually, you can hear that, but in a much more muffled sense. You can't quite see what's happening. However, the black puddings then, or the black pudding in front of you, then suddenly starts to move towards you and then down back into its pit. Oh. And suddenly on your end, oh. Renlin, all the weight that was on the door behind you fades. Like you, you realise that you're holding it shut against nothing. Oh, I. That doesn't mean I could have stopped holding it shut. That's fine. I'm just, just letting you know. So which one of these has now gone? Oh, you don't know. Well, yeah, I know I don't, but just, just for the sake of everybody else, are they, are they all gone? Yep. Well, for the sake of everybody else, Anwen couldn't see that one on the left, and the one on the right, the one that he could see, has gone. I'm happy just Wait, being it, in the pretty pretty the whole completely. Sorry. Has it vanished down the hole completely? It's gone down the hole completely, and as you kind of uh, like just peek a look over the top, you can see that it's basically flattened against the bottom, taking up its um, bottom part of the pit again. Okay. And I will say... Actually, no, not from where you're stood, unfortunately. What did um, you going to say? However, this is combat over, effectively. So uh, it's basically, if oh, I shot down, I wouldn't be... Nothing would happen if I shot straight down into the hole. If you shot down into the hole, you could shoot the creature if you wanted to. Don't start the combat again. Yeah, no, I, I think. I was, I was gonna say, I try, I, I've deuce, mac, deuce, deuce ex machina you, which is something I hate mm -hmm. doing in, D, uh, in DM. Uh, so do not uh, start the fight again, <laughs> please. I start the fight again. No. <laughs> or at least if you do, don't blame me for the for this party being wiped. At least you got another party wait, elsewhere, I guess. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't understand. We wait. We wait for Enman to get out of there, and then we start the fight. The, the party again. The party I mean, again. Start again. It's the combat again. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that wants to start. Just can't the, stop. Uh, the game. Anyway, this Just seems like a good place party. to take a quick break, especially since I'm desperate for the loo. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be, be right back in like five minutes or so. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back as well. Hi. All right. <laughs>
Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Also, I'm back. I should probably open up my chat for the first time this stream. Ugh. Totes professional streams. Actually, I haven't checked to make sure everything's working all right either. The part we find out that people have been trying to chat to you for ages and then like, why is he ignoring us? Oh, no, you need to stop well, to be fair, I, I've already said I'm not going to be listening to chat when I'm DMing anyhow. DMing is hard enough without having to also rely on the stream chat. It bugs me enough when you guys respond to your chat at mid thing. Uh, God damn it, I've got the most weeaboo music in my head. I mean, it's good, but it's weeaboo. Nope, it's fine. Nobody's trying to talk to me. I'm not popular. Tis fine. Uh, where is my ring? There. And Philip is returned. Return aid. Yeah, get that music stuck in your head. What music? It's on Facebook. I didn't want to put the link in um, Map Tools because. Actually, normally don't have a browser, but I shouldn't have it open. Uh, I mean, I've just been listening to Alexander Anderson like all week. I've been listening to Pink, partially because she released a new album recently, and it's quite, it's alright. Uh, and also Amelie, because she released a new album. But she is the is one of my more weeaboo uh, artists you know, that I listen to. I'm disappointed by my lack of alcohol in the house. Ugh. By which I mean I do have some, but I have a lot less than I thought. <laughs> I've still got my uh, cinnamon whiskey. Like I I've just polished off my Kraken. I think I have oh, one crack's worth of uh, Jim Beam. Uh, two seconds. Two seconds. Yep. Uh, that oh, is... right, okay. Uh, CR... Could be a CR30, actually, Kraken. CR23, so that's 50,000 XP for Cabalt. Uh, yeah! Uh, how much, sorry, that was... 50,000. 50, yep, yep, okay, yep. Uh, what level does that put me on? I'm on a... Just shy of 52,000 there. 52,000, alright, alright, alright. I feel that's probably level 10. Uh, let's find out... That puts you at level nine. Well done. Alcoholism nine. pays off. Yeah. <laughs> Alcoholism. The reason you now have a level nine cleric. <laughs> Fine with this. Assuming I actually stuck with cleric to level nine, I suppose. Of course. Well, mm, yeah, yeah. The part of the alcoholism is unfortunately that you are very terrible at making decisions. So actually, after level three, you took one level in six different classes. I don't think I can physically stat into six different classes. Nope, you did. I, I don't think I physically meet the requirements. Yeah, Physi physically, you can't, but you were so sure of yourself that you could. Like, I was that I, drunk, I, I was I'm a barbarian. I'm, I'm barbarian now. I'm a barbarian. Barbarian? But, so, um, uh, what you're saying is that I'm a level 9. Wait, what? You are that goblin from the Goblins comic that takes uh, a, what is it, an 11th uh, of each uh, level at every level up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I've got, I've got a feat now. Which class do you get that from? I don't even bother trying to tell at this point. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about? Uh, uh, <laughs> Cobalt's now level 9. Yes. Oh. Uh, Phil apparently polished off a Kraken, which is 50,000 experience, which, assuming you did that by yourself, Phil... Uh, I, I was. I mean, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah, the only that... way to fight Kraken is by yourself. So that means no, no. That... The only way to polish off Kraken is by yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's See, level here it is. Now. I'm oh, working right. on the encounter. I get it now. It's not. It's not dead yet, Phil. You lied to me. I'm. I'm gonna take that I'm, I'm working on back. it. I'm working on it. I'll you, let you, you know when I'm it. done. Ugh. You don't. You make me want to. Oh. Mm, I'm gonna wait till after. <laughs> Are people doing any gaming after this? By the way. I'm gonna play Hand of Fate. Ugh, oh, what time? Although it also is oh, fucking god. Uh, this began on for another hour and a half as usual, so ten o'clock. Um, Love maybe. Hand I still need to finish Hand of Fate. Depends what you guys are doing. I, I, I as well. like burn the fuck through it. I'm like three. The, the last few bosses just take forever. Like the, I'm on the last last boss now. 
The one that you um, bailed out of my stream on, Phil, I completed in like 20 minutes by accident. The Queen of... Something. Something, See? wasn't it? I, know, I saw you do the Undead Queen. Yeah, uh, want to say Plague? No, Lizard? Plague would be Rats. Might have been, I honestly don't remember. Point is, and then you've um, got the yeah, I, the people. I ran out of food, so I was just like moving, like, okay, I need to find a food thing. Yeah. Isn't the food thing? Is it, oh, wait, it's the last boss. I guess I win. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've <laughs> done that before, just kind of stumbled into the last fight. It's like, shit. And then I actually just won it. Some of the bosses just aren't that hard. If None of them have been hard so far. If you're burning yes, through them, like, how far are you in the actual different quest lines and stuff? Uh, I have no idea, because I've got all the DLC as well. Hmm. Gonna take that so, out. That's one thing I am gonna, I've decided still I'm going to do. Still not done the hardest one, which is that goddamn carnival. No, because I found out you need two huge successes. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, that's why I, I said got one success and one cards. huge success, mm. but no. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, it's a really harsh one. Bullshit. Like I, said. I have decided that I'm going to before I finish playing the game, I'm going to get all of the tokens and stuff. I. Oh, that's, that's the reason take I haven't breath. finished it is because yeah. I'm trying to do that as I play. Like, I'm, yeah. uh, I fail a lot because I try well, I'll for get, the... I'll get so through the entire the story, and then I'll just, just do the rest on Endless. You didn't know, Beanie, uh, Hand of Fate 2 comes out in, like, two weeks. Is it multiplayer? I don't know I've if it's things multiplayer about that. or not. Yeah, there was... Well, they are releasing it. a card game, is the thing. I know that, I know game. you're getting that. So I, I, I'm getting it, yeah. Uh, two seconds, I'm just going to get Steam up and actually have a quick look at uh, this. Is it even on Steam yet? Uh, it is. Uh, it is, but you can't creep. It's on, my, it's on my yeah. wish list. Uh, it's only single player so far. That's a shame. I'd love Damn. to add some. Uh, I don't even know what multiplayer would look like in that game, apart I, from I don't but... moving around the board independently of each other, which would yeah. be weird. Just... Or like one person sets the game and the other one plays it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it'd work as a multiplayer game. That said, I'm a sucker for multiplayer and anything. So I know on the board game they've got two different modes at least. One which is like a cooperative one for multiplayer, and the other Come is on, a, Matt. one person oh. plays as the dealer. So far in Hand of Fate, the one I'm playing, um, it has not been difficult so far. Mm. Like there's been some shitty situations, but. It's not been difficult. I went into the final yeah. boss of a the round with like 75 get, It does get harder as you go, steadily. Yeah, I mean, it is harder, but, but there are definitely the combat, it's fine. See, the thing is, it's not the combat that makes it hard, it's yes. the curses. Yeah. You some get, of them are just, just shitty get ass. some right down nasty ones later on. Mm, I can imagine. There was one which is, everything is really, really cheap. But every time you buy something, yeah, you get I, I saw you get that like, one. It's just like, oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh man, sweet, everything's really cheap. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I only gave I myself one extra you. curse by the end of that. I did get thing, that like, situation you get away where without was... buying stuff, apart gently. from food, usually. Um, apart from my food, experience. Yeah. Um, one thing that did happen to me, which I think you were there for, was there's two. Like tentacles cards, or whatever yes. they were, oh, God. next he to each other. Sent back to them. And I got sent back. I had to go through them both because I didn't realize that if you step on a purple card, you can step on that multiple times. So I ended up on yes. these two cards doing about five of these events, and that's how I ended up. And because I then got right near the end of the level, and Lionel sent me back behind two of them. Like, fucking I fucking love Mister Lionel. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, I appreciate that, but that's the that's the dick, most dickish the game has been to me thus far. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. It has been hugely dickish to me when I play it. Like I when say so I... the the late stuff, it does just it does just go. Yeah, you're doing what? pretty well at this. We're just gonna like make this I've a little unfair. Four left. Four bosses left. Uh, so you've Don't... got all the kings still. So, no, no yeah, I've done the got... bandit king. Uh, right. But other than that, yes. I've got the, oh, you'll I've got have the lizard rats. queen. Yeah, we've got rats, lizard, and skeleton. king. King of plagues, king of dust. Uh, no, it's king of skulls, isn't it? On dead skulls. Uh, king of fire. Plague. plague. I don't know what the lizard men are. Arch. Scales. My head. Scales. Yeah. <laughs> so you got uh, king and queen of scales. I imagine king of uh, plague, king of skulls. I say, it hasn't been difficult so far. Well, of course, I've got like four or five 
bosses left to do. We'll see how it goes. And I'm really enjoying it regardless. I will gladly play this on Endless Mode a fair few times. Yeah, it's, it's good fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a very good game. Really like, good. Um, I would almost be tempted to get number two on release if it wasn't for the fact that, like, three days before that, the Dot Hack remake comes out. Hmm. And that's actually four cool. games, and I fully intend to play them. Hmm. Never played Dot Hack or anything? Well, I've not, but I, I, I watched, kind of I watched the anime. And the problem yeah, is, I never I... got the full story because it's dot hack. So if you want the full yeah. story, you yeah. you got to watch the anime, play two of the games, read a comic, play the third game, watch the end of the anime. <laughs> Fucking dot hack. This man. is the main reason I've never watched dot hack because, like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Like, I've I've only seen. Roots, I've seen like the first two episodes, and then I realized what I was getting myself in for, and went, "Nope." This thing, I've only seen roots, but I didn't mind too much where it ended. It's it felt relatively self-contained. Like you could tell there was still more, but you could live with it if you just left it at that. Mm. I have not heard of your animes, but I was watching. Uh, I no. discovered that. Hey, Ready, Matt? Hey, we'll roll back. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Screw my anime uh, stories. Then let's get us back to the action. Oh. Right. Wait, uh, we're stopping the screwing and getting back to the action because th- that seems like. Screwing is the action. We're stopping right, let's the go. anime screwing. We've so. discussed this. It's a different type of dungeon. Unfortunately. So. I agree. The combat seems to be over. Um, although there's no obvious reason as to why. Um, for now, Anwen and the folks on that side of the doorway, what are you doing? I... I find a stick and I start drawing in the ground dirt. Anything to do? No, just doodling. Um, I really don't, don't know what to do here. Fair enough. <laughs> what there, are my options? They how, are. How big is the hole? hole? The hole is five by five. Five by five. How difficult is it to jump five feet? Sorry. How difficult is it to jump five feet? Hugely difficult. Um, it's an acrobatic athletics check. Sorry, uh, don't have a DM screen, so two shakons. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, DCs like uh, I would say it'd probably be about. The, uh, for a small creature like you, it'd probably be a medium difficulty, so about DC 15. DC 15 to jump that hole? Yes. Right, okay, so I'm not jumping that hole. Um, you could try. Would you Do say athletics or athletics? Do athletics. athletics. Yeah, I'm not jumping that hole. Can I mean, you use acrobatics and do a flip? Do a flip. Uh, no, he cannot. Um, uh, Why don't you want us having fun, Bean? Uh, because I want to kill you all with horrible black puddings. I mean, you have the opportunity to do that right now, and then you chose not to. <laughs> so, as Anwen, as you're kind of judging this in your mind, Renlund, what are you doing? Um, well, having having felt the like the pressure against the doors sort of backed off a bit, um, I just sort of like so sort of like take my hands and like the door doesn't seem to be pushing my way, so. Okay, so I'm guessing they're back to wait for the door, but I want to try and be as quiet as I can, so because I don't know like how smart they are. So for all I know, they're actually just literally sitting on the other side of the door, just waiting. So I'm gonna try and stealth and have a look around the room and see if I can find a way out or just find anything that may be of use. Roll stealth. Lovely. And roll Eight. perception. Uh, roll well. investigation. <laughs> Looking around the room, uh, well, the first thing that Renan notices, uh, so, well, as a character after Laurie's heart, is that Money. beneath the dark waters of the fountain is a decent amount of silver pieces, a fair few gold pieces, three bracelets. Um, of 
shiny metals, although you can't quite make out the colours and stuff with dark vision and uh, uh, the water in the way. A very nice looking dagger with a spider design on the hilt. Uh, a vo and two vials. Seemingly corked and, uh, and stopped it in a way that would make them waterproof, although... This is useless, there's no electron pieces. Well, Sorry. I'm going to start taking the, the dagger first. Uh, then I'll take the two vials, then the bracelets, then I'll start picking up coins and just, you know, I'm sort of like picking up some coins and also trap. sort of like glancing around and seeing like, is there anything else around here? As you reach your hands into the water, I'm going to need a constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 18. Just walked right into that one. You Look, okay, look, right. I have to roleplay this character, and also it's it's really no, easy no, to do. No, I get if that. Was me. Just, I like... would have put my hands in the water as well. So no, I get that. It's just like, of course, it's trapped. Why wouldn't it be trapped? You managed. What? I thought of somebody in my house. Never mind. Just my neighbours. Sound like somebody's walking up the stairs. Uh... <laughs> You managed to. Do you want to go check? I mean, I, I don't think it was. I'm, I'm okay. just going to be right back, actually. Just to double check. Yeah. I'm paranoid. Okay. That's fair. I'm, I mean. Probably not. Obviously, but... don't say it, but do any of you actually have Beanie's address just in case? Uh, no, I do not. Um. I'm he told what. If Beanie really. never comes back, then yeah, we've got some got a problem here. <clears throat> Yeah, I've got, I've got no idea. You've got no idea. Do you have his parents' number? He's not back yet. I think he's yes. dead. So I think. You do? Ah, uh, it's I fine. He's back. He's just remember... Well, just remember, guys, we're not paying the uh, kidnappers. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, it's not a kidnapping. They're just burgling me. Uh, they're uh, probably uh, ransacking my bedroom. They said they'd get to this room about an hour from now. I have a lot of stuff. We told them specifically no burgling. Can't trust anyone. <laughs> um, no. Oh, wait. That's what we were going for. Shit. Sorry. My bad. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, Phil. <laughs> I uh, thought, you know what? Sell it on. We get a bit of extra dosh back off. <laughs> Apologies. My neighbor's being very loud and hearing out the corner of my ear. It just kind of sounded like it was people on the stairs. It was like, no, so, really. Either way. All right. So, 18 on the con save. So. You, you manage to resist the urge to scream as the water touches your blistered arms. Beyond that, fine. You manage oh, to reach in and take the dagger. Arms. You've been affected by this acid. I told you this at the start of the game. Like you were attacked by the uh. uses, and the uh, the same reason that uh, Anron had to make oh. the constitution save earlier when he poured water on his arm. Okay. Um, well, I've got the dagger, so I can pocket the dagger. Um, you take it out. Uh, roll me an arcane check. Fourteen. You recognise that this is actually a minor magical item. It is a plus one dagger, mm. and you can tell it is of drow design with the spider hilt. Uh, the blade it's curves a little bit as well, almost looking like a spider's fang. Nice. So that's the plus one increases the damage and attack by one, is that right? Uh, yes. It also, magic also helps get certain resistances. Yeah. And it's quite important for that. For what it's worth. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take a while to guess that we all heard this scream. No, he resisted the urge too. Yeah, he oh, right, right. resisted the urge, right, yeah. I should have known asking Laurie to make a constitution save on this character. <laughs> Um, you also see the pedo behind you with a... <laughs> no, <Oof>. you don't. <laughs> Seeing a pedo no, behind no, you. I thought you works. actually said you actually see a pedo behind you. It's like, what? what? Um, Is it better for them to be behind or... Question, <laughs> would casting Longstrider help with the jump at all? Well, I was going to go elsewhere. Uh, Longstrider, I would say, would give you advantage on the roll. Uh, unless it says otherwise in the actual spell. There is a specific spell that's uh, there is called jump. jump. The spell. There is jump, but oh. long stride increases my movement speed. As long as you had a decent amount towards it, which I would say the 20 foot that you have is good. Uh, it's, you only need 10 feet for a run up. Yes, but I... if I'm actually giving him advantage due to like a decent speed, I would say he needs the 20 foot. Like, 
Cool. Having a, the 10-foot run-up is normally enough to say that you don't get disadvantage on the roll. But if you're actively like using long strides to build up your speed beforehand, then I would say you'd need a little more room. Either way, you've got that 20 feet. It's irrelevant. Cool. Uh, just um, double checking there's actually not anything specific in this about jumping. No, there isn't. Cool. Okay, so... In that case? Uh, do, I, uh, do I have my other arm that isn't covered in blisters? Hold off while you're investing in that dagger. Anwen, roll your... I'm going to regret this massively, but I kind of need to go help Renlund because Renlund's been... Well, last thing that last time I saw, he was being attacked by a well, two oozes, and one of them I didn't you see what you happened. You can only see but... the one. Although I suppose you could you could actually justify that you know the second one as well. Never mind. Uh... Three. Oh shit! Eleven. Oh so, dear. As you leap, you take the full run up. You leap off the edge, fly through the air, and just are not getting the distance you thought you were. Make me a dexterity save to see if you can grab the edge of the pit on the far side. Dex save. Do not fail this roll. Otherwise, you fall into the black pudding hole. Well, that is enough for you to. You basically land the, sure your top, uh, your breast slamming against the edge of the pit. Your arms grabbing onto the top and pulling yourself up there. You're going to have to now make enough things to take to pull yourself out of the pit. Don't fail this either. Eighteen. You do manage to put your weight into it and pull your dense, heavy form over the lip and He's crawl onto the fat. side. He's actually surprisingly yeah. not fat. He's just very heavy. You, you called him dense and heavy. That's fat. Dense doesn't mean fat. Yeah, well, dense could be enough heavy. Bound. Dense It just heavy. means he's really dumb. Adding dense, <laughs> adding dense to the heavy actually, uh, you know, suggests that he's actually quite thin. He's just very heavy for that. Uh... Yeah, he's literally muscle, big bone. Muscle did. weighs more than fat does. Also stone. Said every really fat guy ever. <laughs> yeah. Muscle weighs more than muscle, stone. I swear. You know? like, not hey, fat, I'm big boned. I'm hey, big boned. Kingpin, <laughs> just saying. Uh, anyway. I'm not saying there are some people who aren't just really muscular. <laughs> but the only people who actually make a point of telling you that muscle is heavier than fat are the people who are really fat and in denial about it. Technically true. It's the only people. So Renlund, I know that because I've said that before. Renlin, you've cleared the. Well, you've managed to crawl onto your belly and clear the pit. You're now on the other side of it. I'm going to rush to, to, to Renlund's rescue. Okay. Uh, as you go to the door, you can see, uh, now that it's in sight, you can see that it is very pockmarked where it is absolved against it. And you can also see some runes seemingly fading. It looks the like runes. the runes on it, uh, arcane mm. runes of some sort, across the entirety of the door. You can see that they were... At, like. They were probably glowing quite a bit at some point, as you can see that now they're kind of fading. You've kind of just you've got a pair just in time to see the last of the of them as they fade away. Okay, so there's no way for me to be able to tell what they were. No, you can looking at the door. You can actually see that the carvings, like the little bit of like sculptured carving on the door, you can see seem to line up with what you could see of the runes, but the pot marks and the dissolved seems to have destroyed their physical being for the most part. So you don't think okay. you'd be able to. Not without recreating them in somehow. And, so, hmm, um, and you only got a short look at them. I really hope that Redman is behind the door and wasn't dissolved here in this very spot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to open the door. Renlin, you hear the door squeaking open behind you. I sort of panic and quickly turn around. And uh, what's your, your past perception? So... You look into the room and kind of hunch low to the ground in an attempt at hiding uh, is Renlin. Uh, I'm not trying to hide. I just, I just panicked and turned around. You were stealthed when you were doing things, so I assumed you were still stealthed. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to go with the fact that because of how much I actually hurt my arm, I kind of was a bit distracted. Because <laughs> apparently I, I almost screamed out in pain, so yeah. In that case, uh, standing by, the fa by a fountain in the centre of the room is Renlin. Seemingly distracted by a shiny ebony black dagger that he is currently holding. Yeah, you're oh, okay. Now looking your direction. Oh, um, hey, could you help me get get some of the um stuff out of this um this fountain? There's some interesting loot in here. Can do. Walk over the fountain. 
Okay. Now, how blistered are both my arms and his arms? Both of you are fairly blistered arms. Like, without some actual magical healing, both of you were injured in the fight of the Grey Oozes quite, quite severely. And so, both of you have blisters, like blistered and burnt arms. Um. Right, I've got, in my possession, in my adventurer's pack, um, stuff including rope, and also bed rolls to fight that, a water skin, torture skin, but okay, there's nothing in there that I'd be able to use to Jerry rig up a, a, what's it called, thing where they run across the bottom of the water. Oh, my uh, map feels crashed, sorry. Um, I'll have to rejoin, probably. That's fine. Uh, I'll kick you out. Um, um, I, can't remember the, I can't remember the word for what I'm thinking of, but one of those things that they used to sort of... A, a dredge. 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 Um, I would say make me an intelligence check with proficiency. Uh, uh, we're currently at... Um, You'll also have to put me on the right page. You can actually do that in the top right if you go to slight map. He doesn't Again? necessarily know what the map name is, though. Admittedly. Oh! Well, it's Ooze uh, it's something. Temple of Ooze. Six. Six. Temple. You, look at your, you look at your backpack and momentarily forget that you're an inventor and just kind of stand there staring at it. Like, for what it's worth, that is very much something that I would uh, encourage you to do is try to make things to uh, solve a solution because that's cool in my mind. But yeah, then that one, unfortunately, is not going to get you it. Uh, yeah. Um, your, your mind just goes blank for a second and you have the, you have a dumb moment. My mind goes blank. Um, wait. I have an alternative solution. Oh? I'm going to hope that this works. Please, please let this work. Um... I'm going to cast another spell on myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Mm -hmm. Right. For the hope that it will protect me as I try to help you get this stuff. Because you want my help get this stuff, and by God, I'm going to help get your stuff. You... Um, oh, you focus your, uh, your magical energies um, and kind of touch, uh, move to touch your right arm, and you see... Like dragging your your right arm across your left, you kind of bring into form a shimmering shield. Um, you then look at the water and look at the shield on your arm. Well, it does say shield of faith, so I'm gonna have faith it'll work. I'm gonna plunge my well, I'm gonna lower my hand into the water. <clears throat> like how you started with plunge and then <laughs> change it to yeah. Uh, I, I, I have faith, but I'm not stupid. For what it's worth, the, just so you, you can picture it right, like the, the way Shield of Faith works is it, at least the way I was uh, thought it did, is it basically forms a um, an actual shield that kind of, you don't need to wield, it just kind of sits in front of your left arm, like uh, in place of where a normal shield would be. So you'd basically be, you've got a shield now, plunge your right hand in. Is that right? Um, I was thinking, I thought I've had in my mind for some reason if like, it You're thinking of, like mage almost, armor, it's like an aura. Almost like mage armor, armor, yeah, but it's like... No. I don't suppose I can use the shield... I don't suppose I can use the shield as a shovel, can I? <laughs> That's a point, actually. Roll a... I do have armor of shadows, like, over my skin, bear in mind, so did that not you have do. any... It had about yeah. as much effect as leather armor would. It's still water seeping through it. It's not gonna... It doesn't... The same so the magical can, shield has water shit seeping through the it. The same way that you can breathe, like through it, it doesn't block everything. It the same way oh, the source right. and stuff can get through it. It's not it's not an impenetrable force field, unfortunately. Um, for what it's worth, Matt, you kind of uh, look at this shield, go to plunge your hand, and then shake your head, reach over, grab it, and start plunging it in to try and scoop stuff out. Can, can we just appreciate? For a I moment. have no idea if this will actually work. I mean. Oh, I'd plunge you, Mike. Oh, yeah. You uh, roll a dexterity. Just plain dexterity. Twenty. Huh. You move the shield in and start shoveling. After a, uh, after a second, you bring it back up and 
There's about 20 coins on the end of it. They're a mix of gold and silver, mostly silver. Cool. Oh, but, uh, well done. Could you not, try and get um, those bracelets and those, those, um, those magical tubes in there? <laughs> magical tubes. I, like, I've, I've literally had a brain fart. I, the vials, there we go. <laughs> magical I completely forgot how you call them. This was probably what you want. Are you basically yeah. going to spend some time scooping in and getting what you can out? Um, yes, until the spell fizzles out, which will take... Uh, I'm just going to quickly get Three minutes, I'm going to guess. I've got no idea. And I think that's probably also fizzled out the, um... Uh... Non Strider. Yes, it has. Uh... Uh, concentration up to ten minutes. Up to ten minutes. Ten minutes is more than... Oh, a shimmering field... A shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice. Alright, never mind, it is basically mage armor, just the cleric version. I prefer hmm. mine. I prefer mine for the visual. Um, so I don't know if that's actually going to work even. Uh, for the sake of convenience and the fact that we've already done this with my misguided um, thought process, and it's working for you guys, so I don't feel like I'm screwing you, I'm going to say it's still a shield. Uh, Yay. The next 10 minutes, you're able to scoop out what remains of the treasure inside, with the exception of the vials, of which I'm going to need a dexterity check for each, bearing in mind they're fragile. So. Yep, I'm going to hopefully not smash them to pieces. Basically. Here we go. 18. Oh, good. Eight. Uh... Crunch, crunch, crunch. Did you go for one or two first? Yes. <laughs> good answer. But just say one or two. I know there's, there's no logic between you, but this is just so that I'm randomizing it. Go for two, two. first. All right. So... You bring one out, and it is a long vial, uh, inside which there seems to be a slick black oil substance. Um, can I acknowledge, can I acknowledge that while I, like he's going at these things? Uh, yep, roll Narcana. The second one, you kind of go in, you dig your shield in and attempt to get it underneath it. However, uh, you, um, you don't quite see in time that you manage to catch it at a bad, bad angle, and you basically crush it between your shield and the wall, unfortunately. And it does split, and you see a, a, a reddish, pinkish uh, liquid kind of swirl around as it empties from the vial and into the waters of the fountain itself. There goes the healing potion. Yes. I'm sorry, Rathan! <laughs> hmm. uh, I go... I sort of guess go... Hmm. And then I, I got a nine, so do I actually you not know what this is? You don't recognise what it is. Uh, yeah, you don't recognise what it is. I'll, I'll say, well, at least you got this one. Do you know what that is? Um, do I know what it is? Ron Arcana. Uh, I believe you actually have some affinity with like identification. I'm not sure how hard to find this work um, with that. Potion. I have shield. No, I have um, identify and detect magic as rituals. rituals. That's right. Uh, it, so you need to spend. Is time this to do the that. potion you're talking about? Though? Yes. Uh, anyone can identify potions by having a small sip. That is also true. Uh, I believe it's generally considered it's not enough to even do any of its effect for what it's worth. It's not. Though although, I don't know how that works, if it will save poison. For, for the sake of entertaining myself, I will always have um, like a bit of flavour with it in, in regards as no, it that's, will have that's a fair. little bit of effect, but... Yeah. Well, first, that's exactly yeah, how I you can, tell what it is. Yeah, have, yeah. Generally, you would probably have a very, very minor effect, and also you kind of go, oh, that's what it does. No mechanical effects, but I will... But, yeah, I like, if, if, way, like it's it's to flames. The idea is, if it's something that, you know... Uh, what did you get, Matt? Good example. Um, oh, right. Uh, seven. Seven? You also do not recognise what it is. Um, what, Oil. What can we say about um, the bracelets? Do we know if they're magical or not? Bracelets are non-magical. And there's two, yeah? There is three. They are green and gold. Gold. Okay, um, a, quick, a quick look at them suggests they're probably worth about 25 gold each. I'll give one to Matt and I'll keep one myself. There's three. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, we tried to make us forget you know about what? that already. <laughs> no, I, I, I was going to say I, I'm going to keep one for somebody. I thought, uh, you know what, they've not really helped at all. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep two for myself and then I'll, I'll give one to uh, Anwar. 
I'll have you know what I'm doing right now is incredibly important. Doodle doodle doodle. Masturbating does not count, Mike. Says you. Doodle doodle. Uh, yes. I mean, yes, I did in fact just say that. For, for what it's worth, can't tell what to do. Turning the um, turning the uh, the story towards Turvey's expeditions. After about five or six minutes of um, doodling in the in the ground, you realise for this entire five and six minutes, just like there has been in this entire uh, dungeon so far, the water's been covered by about an inch of water. So your doodles have been nothing. But I I, how else that. am I going to tell people that stool is the greatest and he's so handsome? Unfortunately, it can't be. It can't be seen. It can't be shown. Chisel it into the walls. Mm. Stool, stool's just enjoying the water. <laughs> I'm going battle, to battle, battle. drink it up through his feet or however he does that. Mm. I don't know. Yes. yes. <laughs> He's a mushroom man. I assume he just drinks it through his skin. You just kind of, you know just kind of lowers onto it. He does just kind of absorb a bit of water. It's not the tastiest of water, but it's, you know, it's, it's water. Water. Yeah, I'll, I'll say to Anwar that, um, like, I'd, I'd like him to keep the money as a, as a thank you for saving me. In that case, the money is commissioned but... for. Uh, is commissioned for your uh, lovely portrait. One hundred and twelve mm. silver and forty-one gold. One hundred and twelve. Yeah, because as far as Renlin knows, like he actually fought them off. So yeah. Mm. Uh, but, you so... know, got to keep the bracelets for himself. After all, they look very nice. For what it's worth, I. Considering that Renlin's attention were probably immediately distracted by the treasures, I, I kind of halted your investigation check there, and just so the investigation check you made before was just on the treasure and not on the whole room. Uh, just FYI. Okay, so now I've got that. Um, I guess I'll do another investigation check to have a look around the room, see if there's anything else. Okay, roll me investigation. Um, I will walk in like the other way around. Ten. You know, like, if he's walking around clockwise, I'll walk around anti-clockwise. Okay, roll an investigation then. Oh, so, well, I hope you find something. Renlin, you don't really see anything. Um, anything uh, unusual about the room. Uh, Anwar, you notice there's a lot of cracks and holes in the wall. At first, it just looks like the pop marks of the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the dungeon that you've been, um, been going through. Have you started to notice that these holes and um, stuff, they seem a little more natural as opposed to the artificial dissolving from the users. And you actually start to realise that the wall and uh, the parts of the wall in this room have actually been made up of um, actual parts of the uh, carved wall itself have, um, have eroded and disappeared over time. And there is actually the rock wall behind it, the actual natural underdark rock wall which seems to have been made up by falling rubble and such. So much so that you could probably, if you wanted to, um, disturb the rule. Like, you'd need either somebody fairly strong or some way to move it. Like, an explosion or some acid or something. <clears throat> so what you're saying is we need to go and fetch Labagool? Well... Labagool might be able to do it. If you want explosions, I mean, if only there was a caster in the room with you. You do realize that only. acid would be the slow choice here. Like, you'd be dissolving it over the course of, depending how how far it is to the other side, it could be a while. I mean, ah. Eld I could just Eldritch Blast the thing. For what it's worth, Eldritch Blast. That's you know, force damage. It's You're going to be saying Eldritch. Bit. And it is it a catcher, so you could keep at it, but it would be... I, I guess it depends on whether you've got the um, the one that pushes stuff back, because otherwise it's just going to hit them. Uh, well, it would it crack the rock bit by bit, but you think it'd take a bit more than... I oh, don't have blast. repelling blast yet, if that's what you mean. I have high-powered... Uh, I've got ammunition. You actually mentioned the cracks to me at all. But yeah, I probably would have. This might be a way out. Um, can I, can I knowledge check, um, our kind of orientation here and think, well, if we just put a hole in the wall, is it gonna, that going to take us back to where we were before? Uh, roll survival. Is there water seeping in through this hole at all? 16. Uh, 
Uh, no, but there are similar holes on the ceiling and walls around. Um, the ones on the ceiling are dripping water into the fountain, um, it would seem. Um, more by coincidence than design, you'd guess. And a couple ones from the wall are dripping into the room. However, this one is not. Cool. Um, um, what do I figure out from with 16 on survival? Uh, you fig uh, Looking at it, you realise that uh, it would basically take you in... Ah, 10. Uh, this direction. Uh, you think it would bypass... Other parts of this dungeon, although you're not you're not brilliant in uh, like subterranean areas. You, you can't remember quite how tight some of the turns you took were. So I'm maybe, gonna maybe I'm leave. gonna I'm gonna figure from that that um it's probably just gonna either take us into like the number two area or uh -huh. it's just gonna take us in the same direction that um the other corridor is. So I'm like I'll just it's, leave it. It's just gonna take us back into one of the other rooms. Is, uh, you could carve it at an upwards angle if you wanted to, or even at a downwards angle. Like, hmm. it's not necessarily ha it doesn't necessarily have to be horizontal, as far as you can tell. Yeah, but um, based on the description we got earlier, the um, the other hole is basically just going to lead us up. Fair like, enough. if you remember down the other thing, so as far as as far as Renan is concerned, that he doesn't think it's really worth the time. Okay. Like, we'll just we'll just take oh. the other route. In that case, uh, he's both, no expert. This you're thing. Both going to head back to the rest of the party. Well, um, I'm I'm going to he head to about here, and then I'm going to misty step across because fuck that, I am not taking the chances. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> um, uh, Ren, Ren then. You know? no, well, okay, before I actually go, like I'll, I'll be heading out. I was like, "Yeah." Um, could you do me a favor and hold on to this for me, and I'm going to throw him one end of some rope. Okay. Um, uh, is that? Oh, I see what you mean. Throwing empty rope across a five, like across five feet, with enough weight that it lands on the other side and doesn't fall, is going to require a. If he's doing this as I walk tank. out, you doing this as I walk out. Well, um, so otherwise, you could just pass it well, to me. I was assuming he did this as you're on the other side, like yeah, you just I kind of casually misty stepped. I've over, never so. Yeah, okay, I've yeah. seen you misty step before, but I didn't know that you're going to misty step again. Hmm. It was kind of a, especially the, the how long it took Anwar to react, and it makes hmm. sense he'd be on the other side. Yeah, I, ju I just casually did it. I didn't tell him I was going to. So like, I, was like, I sort of looked and went, hmm. Um, somebody is deleting my fine work. Right. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Ruined. Um, uh, they didn't notice <laughs> the other bit. It's fine. <laughs> you ruined uh, my amazing okay. and, uh, I'm going to try and throw across one end of the the the, the rope. It's a strength check. It'd be hard to fuck this one up, but it is oh, possible dear. to fuck it up. Oh boy. One. <laughs> you fucked you, it up. <laughs> you grabbed the rope. And oh. kind of loop about 10 foot of it to try and throw across the other side. And it goes about four foot. A bit of it lands on the other side, and then it all just kind of drops. And you hear as the hemp sizzles away. It's not a very long rope now, shoot, 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 is shoot, shoot, it? Shoot, 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 shoot. You pull it back up, and you've realized you've lost about five feet of the end of that rope. So I now have. I now have 45 feet of head rope. Yes. I'm going to try and tie something to one end of the rope. Well, no, it's, it's, it's rope. It's kind of difficult to tie it up. Um, I'm just going to try and throw it again. Roll a strength check. That Six. is enough. That's what Yay. You, God. you chuck it across. And about... Two feet of it uh, lands on the other end, just long enough as it starts sliding towards the pit again for Renan to reach down and grab it um, with a bit of rush. Now, is there anything over there that you can secure it to? Um, I'll just sort of back over and say to Turvy, say, "Hey, Turvy, come over here." Yeah. Don't secure it to Turvy. 
I'll, I'll say, hey, help, help me hold this. And I'll, like, give him some of the rope. And then it's like, okay, hey, hold right. Hold one. <laughs> this is the Black Pudding's favourite kind of uh, deal. Two Swerf Neblin for the price of one. <laughs> right, so... I'm now holding a rope. And... I'm confused at the fact that I'm holding a rope. And you, uh, using the wall itself as kind of a corner brace as well. This does actually, uh, this tenses the rope quite a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the point where I've... Basically, there's not much slack on the rope because I don't want it to be a case of me falling and then the rope going slack, the going tense even. Mm -hmm. Not slack, as little slack as possible. You actually think that, like, with you holding it as tight as you can, your feet kind of, your toes just kind of dangling off the end uh, edge of the pit. Uh, looking down at the black pudding, about ten, about about eight ten feet below, you realise you could probably at this point let yourself fall and swing to the other wall if you can. Withstand the shock of hitting the wall and hold onto the rope, you'd be out of reach of the black pudding unless it moved right. upwards towards you. Okay. Um, is it possible to kind of tie my hat, tie, tie it to any part of me so that I don't fall to my yeah, death? Yeah, you, you can tie it to your waist. I tie it to me. Uh, actually, uh, you've got 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, You've got enough. You only need five feet for a person, especially cool. for a small creature. I have enough. I have enough um, rope to tie to subdue a midget. So I'm going to tie myself up or tie it around myself. <laughs> so you're going to subdue yourself. What? Speaking of dungeons, okay. uh, and then I'm going to roll a athletics. Uh, yeah, athletics with advantage. Thank God with advantage. Seven. Oh, God. Fortunately, that wasn't less than five. The DC Yay! Oh god! You just die horribly you again. Grab you, grab it, kind of pull it as close to yourself as possible after tying it around around you. Swing down, and as you hit the wall, you kind of you're angled so you're trying to catch your feet and bend your knees a bit to catch that. But you kind of your feet kind of slip as they hit the wall, and instead you kind of bang, sl slamming your head and chest into the wall. Painful, not enough to damage you, but enough to hurt. And then you start Ouch. kind of achingly. Uh, I'll climb the rope. Uh, yeah, as he's, as he's climbing up, I'm also going to start pulling on it to try and speed up so he doesn't get stuck uh, there. It does make it a bit easier. However, this does unfortunately add the uncomfortable effect of you being pulled up against a rough rock wall with very, very heavily burnt and blistered skin. Nice. Uh, it's not a pleasant experience. In fact, it's one of the least pleasant experiences that Anwar has ever uh, found himself in. Is it worse than pouring water on it? Oh, yes. You're literally scraping it against rock. <laughs> and, like, Thank you for the <laughs> um, He's not quite happy about it. Sorry? Isn't he walking up the wall? He's, well, no, he slammed no, into it. No, like, he slammed was, into it. Yeah. Rather than being like, walk, 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 it was slam. From, from your angle, though, you can't really see that. You just kind of heard a... <laughs> as he uh, crying. Like screams of agony as you drag me up a wall. Mm -hmm. Well, he's doing one of his rare things of actually helping somebody, so you have to deal with it. I keep this is how I help! <laughs> Eventually, Renlin does get pulled up to the top of the um, pit. Does he? Anwar. Renlin? Anwar. Sorry, Anwar gets pulled up to the top of the pit uh, and pulled over the edge. Suddenly, so Renlin just shoots into the ceiling. Uh, At least some of those wounds have probably opened up now, and I'm just sort of like... <laughs> yeah. And it's the... It's the fresh it's blisters, the the party. little bits of pus and stuff in, in them now. Like it, it's not pleasant. It's it's very painful. I walk um, up to him, and poke one. That hurts. Poke. I'm done. I right. Let's move on, guys. Do that again. I say. Poke. No, I'm not going to shoot. <laughs> he dared me. I'm making friends. I'll uh, say to uh, Glabagul as well. It's like, thank you for what you did early. That was that was um, good. Heroic. That was very literally no trouble of my part. <laughs> well, at least he's efficient. Modest. God damn it! He's a modest. I'm gonna start getting ready to use. move on. Yeah. Keep an eye out. See if anyone's actually going to follow me. Okay. Uh, looking eleven. Looking down the <laughs> corridor. Fuck's sake. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Get good, Benny. I refuse. Or get, at least getting, better. Getting good is overrated. Getting uh, better really. will be... As someone who win. still hasn't beaten one boss in Dark Souls 3, I completely agree. Have you still not beaten the first have boss in Dark Souls 3? Have you not beaten Dark Souls 3? I have, I just haven't beaten the in-game optional boss from the last DLC. Oh. I thought uh, you meant you hadn't beaten a single well, boss. Oh no, I've definitely done that. Because like, the way you worded it, you said you hadn't beaten one boss. It's like, you know, <laughs> fair depending enough, on how you could never beat that, I mean, you've not killed any of them. Um, I, ha I am yet to kill Medea the Dark Eater. I have to kill oh, Medea. I haven't he is bullshit. Game. I think I'm like two or three bosses from the end, as far as I know. Uh, I've not got back to it. Either way. coming with? So. I am going to follow him. The corridor is a... Cavernous corridor. Uh, no longer are these walls carved and manufactured like the rest of the um, area in. Instead, it is a natural cavern that leads to a mm, ovalish room um, uh, in which you can see there is water pooled on the floor. Uh, being uh, in a cave, being uh, fairly clear water, you can't really tell how deep it is. Um, there is a small drip coming in through the ceiling, maybe half an inch in diameter kind of um constantly falling into the room and you can see that this is probably where um this is well this is where the water is coming from that's starting to drench the floors throughout the didn't, uh, dungeon didn't you see this sort of went up constantly and there was a, like a hole in the ceiling he said there was a hole in the ceiling through which water was coming how big is that hole uh it's about half an inch in diameter although again it actually looks like the entire roof is made up from what looks like shifted rock. With enough um, force, these could also be moved. Although, looking at the um, leak, there is likely a body of water above that. You don't know how big that body of water is. but What's the floor like? What level is it? Is it? And if it started pouring down with water, would it just sort of fill up this place? Or because if the floor is flat, the water would have to run off? And uh, fill up other areas this, first before it started rising. The, the tunnel does kind of descend to this room, but it is like it's deep enough now in this room that it is going throughout the rest of uh, the uh, cave systems or the dungeon. So, if you were to flood this room, it would first fill the rest of the dungeon that you've seen so far. Mm. However, thinking back to it, you realise that this dungeon so far is a dead end everywhere. So, this would basically be depending on how big the body of water up there is, this could just be entirely filled, or you could just drain the water through where you don't know. It is also possible that this is the only way out of the cave and by swimming downwards in the water. It is also yeah. possible Looking that up. by releasing so, the water and filling this cave up, we'd basically be sitting ducks with those black puddings to get back. Well, oh, yeah. I was thinking if we... No right, at least make out. enough enough of a hole that we could actually get through. Then if it just keeps pouring water, then we could try swimming up and seeing how far it goes. <laughs> this is not it's Minecraft. Risky, but... It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. This is not Minecraft. Uh, I th well, I think you'll find if the room itself is entirely full, yes, there'll be a stream like going against you, but you will be able to then swim up. But we'd have to fill up the entire room first before we can do that. We can't just have like a waterfall and swim you up that, because yes, that, that doesn't take. work. I well, no, how we don't. A small place. I know. I know how to speed for, up a little bit. For what it's worth, you can also tell that the actual hole where the water's coming in is fairly close, uh, close enough to the wall that if you were to focus on widening that hole, you could probably just climb the wall as well. Uh, if there wasn't enough water to do what um, Rendon uh, has planned, that does sound like a good idea. Do you think that it might be possible for Glabagool to? Form a seal so that the room fills up faster if it does fill up. I um, can do that. You can see the um, roof of the tunnel. Yeah. It's been and then when we're done, do when, when, when we've come out, Glabagool can follow us, follow us up to the surface and join us in our adventures. Can slime swim? I can float. Oozes. Oozes? Slimes. Oozes. 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 I can it swim. Uh, oh, we've, ha well. we've had no, this situation before. They Not can't. Really, no. you can... Oh, yeah. Did you just, did you just stop rotating on the one spot? One thing that my can do, uh, can swim better than, though, is climb, considering you've got no bloody arms. 
No, or no, we went through ones. this. Very we went ones. through this last week. I definitely have hands because my attack is fist. <laughs> That's very true. Do have hands. Right, so do you want to give that a go then? We'll try and widen the hole that's already there next to the wall and then try and Ooh. see how much water comes down and Ooh. see if we can climb up. Yes, um, this is going to be extremely Ooh. agonizingly painful for most of us. Yeah, because um, of all the acid and stuff. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this, but we kind of need a way out. Yeah, because I mean, the way we fell down originally is uh, too too steep. We can't possibly climb up that. Yeah. I will argue that we didn't try, but yeah, okay. Well, we looked at it, and based on what we what we were told from that, no, we just can't. But we didn't it's try. Just too... Well, I I'm going to trust Beanie on the fact he told us that we just can't. What? So you know yeah. Kamal would have tried. I thought climb up the hole that we fell down. Yeah, the hole you fell down was was sealed. Um, right, basically, yeah. as you fell, the shifting rubble and stuff also kind of fell with you, and you basically had very hefty rocks, kind of fall into place above you. There was enough of a hole that you could kind of shout through it, but it was a lot more it was a lot more stable than looks like the shifted rocks in this room. So, yeah, if we can have um, Blabagool sort of seal the, the way in, then we can try filling this area up, but it's going to be painful for us, but we can give it a go. I so what sure do people say? I put on my hat. Just stepping into this room and the water, as it starts to drench your um, blistered legs, it does burn and ache and sting. It's a painful experience, but you do. Is it the sort of thing of, uh, where you get used to it after a while? No, very much. In I fact, like when you step into like a really, really, really hot for, bath, and then after a while, it's like, oh, that doesn't burn anymore. For Anwar, with the um, the like freshly ground uh, blisters. You are fighting back tears of agony. Like, it is really, really bad for you. But you do manage to all kind of hold your own against them, force you to, like, power through it and get into the room. Glabagool, as uh, promised, kind of seals the corridor Ooh. behind you, Hera, as he squeezes into place. Right. I'm going to try an Eldritch Blast on the hole, see if I can start Ooh. working at the rock. Okay. Blast uh, that hole. Roll and attack roll. I thought you were going to say do a dungeoneering check. I was like, what? <laughs> There's a reason they got rid of that, because it's pretty useless. It's not oh, useless. It's just, it's just dungeoneering. Was, yeah, dungeoneering Sounds like it'd be the perfect engineering. engineering. Engineering was kind of useless. 23. 23? Make yeah. him do a larceny check. Roll damage. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should have a larceny skill. Yeah, just add larceny, add larceny stat. Nice. Uh, that's sleight of hand in this, effectively. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. Oh, no, I, um, closest World thing to darkness. criminality in this is sleight of hand. Well, uh, in World of Darkness, you can apply larceny to anything so long as it, it is considered criminal. Fair so enough. it can go anywhere between pickpocketing to running away from police over a chain link fence. Fair you enough. can really apply it to anything. Trying to quietly take your commanding officer's binoculars off him while he's unconscious. <laughs> Of That's course. true too. Um, in larceny, what the a this cover all. Eldritch Blast, uh, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast, which is a greenish orb, isn't it? From you, Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. like, uh, the greenish orb fires into the ceiling and there's a Blah. popping sound as it smashes against the rock, and then there's a. <laughs> and Step back. Immediately, part of the roof just ca like half the roof just caves in as this unstable uh, rock shift had just uh, landed. Beanie, I feel now's a good point to point out Cobalt is now level 9. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you finished the drinking crack a Kraken. Uh, however, uh, in your al alcoholic stupor, fuck you. Um, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, that's, that sounds not consensual at best. <laughs> <laughs> it's Beanie. It's always consensual if it's with Beanie, as far as I'm concerned. Right. That's fair. Uh, so... Oh, uh, roof so half the roof has basically caved in. <laughs> I will say it would be a dexterity check on all of your behalfs to avoid the falling rubble. For the most part, you were smart enough to look at that's the part of the roof where the Oh no, hole is. come on! Stay away from it. But yeah, you actually have health, Laurie. So do I. 
Yeah, but still, like... I don't know how much he's gonna hurt. What does yeah, shape? Stall's probably unconscious. <laughs> what does shape changing do to my stats? Uh, you, them. It, for what it's worth, don't worry about it. Topsy or Turvy would never shape change at the moment. Like he's not. No, it's not something he's comfortable with. It's uh, okay. It was on, it was on the card that I sent to you that you lost on the way t from my house to yours, which is like ten houses. You no sound mind. kind of mad about this. Never mind. I'm mad about this. It doesn't affect me. Uh, I'm more confused. Like, Renlin, I don't even know how I did that. Renlin and Stool, uh, you both take three points of damage as some of the smaller rocks kind of um, oh, crash against you on their way into the water below. I feel you're being generous there, specifically on my behalf. No, I actually rolled a d6, I rolled a 3. Everybody else, being you, take, being generous? you no. take one point of damage as you suffer the same but manage to dodge the most of it. Ouch! Uh, now the water is filling this room very quickly, like... The entire place where the roof caved in is just water, and immediately within how... seconds, it fills this room. How as, big as soon is as the, the water reaches itself, my neck, the my head just goes... is half that room, so... Oh, so we can easily yeah. swim up that. Yeah, like, it's basically this area here. Yeah, as, as soon as the water reaches my neck, it's kind of like, my head just... <laughs> as, as the water the reaches my neck. Head. Oh, yeah. uh, can I just point out... So yes, this you, can, is... you can all see it as this strange apparatus just affects... Um, oh. Anwar. And especially as the water hits, um, and you can see all like all of you are feeling the pain of the blisters now, but Anwar especially, with the um, bliss, uh, blisters, you're suddenly basically just in a bubble filled with screams. <laughs> yeah, first, filled chance, with screams. first chance we get, I'm going to sort of like tape it, take a deep breath and then like try and as it, as it fills up, it's all go right now, and then we're trying to swim up as fast as, as I can. Again, this room fills up in seconds. You kind of you cast your spell, the rocks fall, and immediately it's it's it and everyone a case dies. Of <gasps> immediately, trying to get as much breath in. All right, um, so what are we I'm going to do what I can to Whoa. try and um, to try and help Stool on account of he has stubby little feet and stubby little hands. Uh, I will say uh, that gives you disadvantage so on your on your uh, swim check then, but it gives Stool advantage on his. I, I was going to absolutely fine with that. Stool. Because he's so handsome. Is swim an actual thing or so cool? Swim is athletics. athletics. So athletics. There is a swim speed. Speed. Oh, this is it's not, fun. For what it's worth. Oh, it's come on! <laughs> Fucking hell. What I was going to say is for what it's worth, it's actually not a difficult swim because as soon as like the few seconds it takes to fill up the room, uh, with Glabagool kind of blocking one entrance and the there seems to be not much current above, the water is very still. However, that's a one. Is that? Uh, I mean, a I've not rolled. You've not rolled yeah. yet. Okay, that's your uh, dexterity save. That's I a five. A five. Fortunately, it's DC five, uh, so. That's I have advantage on this. You do. I, oh. I want advantage, please. <laughs> Still so, I'll roll for shit. So Still <laughs> powers through the water like a torpedo. <laughs> We're like, no, Stool, take us with you. And what? You go to uh, Animal and Turbo. Everyone's you just like, we need stool. to help the little mushroom. I was like, no. <laughs> You're holding this. This is back. my moment. <laughs> you, bo you both go to um, grab uh, Stool. But with all the pain of the blisters and the water and stuff, this isn't something that Stool's used to. He just wants to get away. He immediately just paddles his legs quicker than he ever has before and torpedoes upwards through the water. Uh, oh. You all quickly lose sight of him. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> do I realize, do I realize that Renan is having trouble swimming? Uh, now, a reminder, how many do... turns can we actually spend underwater holding our breath? Uh, Why basically, your constitution um, score... In, in minutes. In minutes. Oh, it's, it minutes. is minutes. Modifier minutes. Basically, modifier. Two minutes. Okay, yeah. right. Wait, you say modifier minutes because that means I'm dead. No, there uh, is a minimum, minimum on one. it. Minimum right. one. Like, oh, I, I forget. I forget four, exactly four. how it works, but don't worry about turn orders if you're prepared for going underwater. It's, Shall we give it, it another go? If it gets to the point where that's an issue, I will start taking it out of camp. I don't think it will be. It's not well. For first off. Uh, over this turn, yes, and well, you can see that Renlin uh, has basically, it seems like he was in near enough to the torrent of water as it came down, that it kind of knocked him back, and he seems to be stuck on the floor, kind of, it, he's almost around. trying to swim downwards, you can, you can tell, like, he's, he's disorientated, he's lost his sense of which way's up and which way's down. Um, <clears throat> uh, Turvey, are you 
you kind of see Stool go up and start paddling after after him in a much slower fashion. Uh, and well, so you, are you actually staying to give Renlund a hand then? I am staying for as long as it takes to get Renlund to safety. In that case, you roll with disadvantage, Renlund roll with advantage. I'll need one from Stool and Turvey as well. Eight, uh, it's the uh, same roll, right? Uh, same roll, yeah. Athletic. Even, my even God, with that's... my crit, Beanie. Just Sorry. enough. I took into account your crit. Even with my 20. Uh, actually, with your 20, yeah, fair enough. You've you've shot through. You're basically near the surface. Um, Renlin, with An- Anwar's help kind of dragging you upwards, you manage to start making headway. <clears throat> he basically points out the right direction to you. You start kicking. He starts kicking. And you basically just arm in arm, both going up towards the surface. Both um, screaming in pain. <laughs> no, no, you screaming in pain. Renlund is really trying not to scream in pain because that means opening his mouth underwater. Um, yeah. This is like, that's <laughs> one of the biggest problems right now that you're having. Uh, however, at this point, Stool, you kind of burst out of the water and are basically a buoyant little mushroom man kicking your legs frantically looking for some sort of land. Um, Turvey, you're right behind him. Uh, you managed to break the surface shortly after. Renlin and Anwar, I'll need one more uh, roll. What? Disadvantage for me again? Uh, disadvantage for you if you're helping him, yeah. Advantage for yeah. Renlin if you're helping him. Eight. Yeah, 15. You are both fine. You managed to both break the surface about 10 seconds later than um, Stool and Turvey. All of you, well, except for Anwar, reaching, uh, uh, pushing your head out the water and catching a deep breath. And you realise... You are in a large cavernous room. The lake itself seems to go up and up to the uh, walls of the cavern um, all around you. There is no shore as far as you can see. Uh, you th- looking around you, you can s- uh, those of you with 60 foot dark vision can see walls in all directions. However, oh, above you, me. you can actually see what seems to be a cross, um, uh, crisscrossing series of strands of some, si- some sort of silk or cobweb. Well, first of all, I get to the top of the oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anwar, my friend. You certainly have your priorities straight. Oh, and then I'm going to start having a look around and see what I can see. I probably should that... point out that I tried helping Stool first. I actually think this is a very good point to end this session. I feel uh, like we've just ended well... up back at the start again. Just I know just, why we you popped think out, We popped that... out oh, in a pool of water think... and blew cobwebs. It's, yeah. not, it's, a, it's a different look to... How that was like that one was basically one giant cobweb like across mm. the bottom of the place this is actually more like um some uh think you know those uh things people do with string around their hands like cat's cradle stuff think yeah, of that, right. Right? Mm-hmm. like but on a much larger scale okay so in other words a spider web uh yes but not but so it's like a pattern rather than an actual web no more, but much more three D, three dimensional. Like the one below Velkin Velve was two D. It was almost like a net, like a blanket. Whereas this is three dimensional. It's in all kind of like it's up, it's across, it's all over. The Ooh, they are. I'm guessing there's no map for this area. There is not. We have moved out of the Using Temple. Uh, but yes, this is a good place to end it. You actually got through that temple. Last than I expected. I thought you might be still on the wow. last week. XP. Uh, XP. For the combat. <laughs> and for the finding stuff. And for the blisters. And for making friends with Glabagool. You've already made friends with Glabagool last week. Don't try and get double XP out of that. Gah. Well, you didn't give us XP for making friends with I didn't, them. admittedly. Uh, I, will, I will give both Anwar and um, Renlin a... Uh, Hero point and Kobold inspiration. Sure. Inspiration, that's the one. Sorry, they're called so many different things in different systems. Uh, and Cobalt and Kamar, you both also get an inspiration point. As uh, an apology, this is uh, a session away from your characters. You've had more sessions away from yours than. In the place of this. that, can right. Turvy level up? No. In <laughs> hmm. uh, place of that, can still be like actually good. Nope. <laughs> that would get rid of the. That would get rid of his whole personality that. thing. Oh, no, so no one. He, no, he is would the, have a magnificent arc. No, what we need to do is we need to find we need to find some sort of demonic miracle grow 
So the first we thought Thor was weak, but bounce. then he grew strong. <laughs> then he grew into a muscle man. Uh, I'm immediately forgotten what I'm trying to They're like the, um, the mushrooms oh. in Dark Souls. There's yeah. the little tiny ones that fall over all the time, but no, this one got big. This one just has like this right hook that just knocks things down. He turned into a muscle man. Uh, he in fact he almost had it. Into... I will say... And this is going to be uh, when... just me doing this for a moment. Altogether, I would actually definitely say he's a pretty fun guy. He's, he what? turns into one of them. Oh. When, what? What? Huh? Look at oh. look at my camera. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Is that an uh, elder one? To be I've fair, no idea. To be fair, the fun thing of the Magnet just... is that they oh, um, they can actually like they develop very differently. Like it's not like humans where each one is fairly similar. For Magnet, they can look very very different. Like the same way that you can look at different mushrooms and they're very different. Like different colors, different. Right. Makeup. So this is now the canon. This is now the canon look for stool. <laughs> um, Wait. What's our XP? <laughs> you, uh, That's no, terrifying. Uh, That's terrifying. It's adorable. Um, for what it it's is worth, adorable. Uh, for my stream. Um, for... Uh, damn it, sorry, I was trying to do my... Show, my, show it off on my screen, but it's really awkward because of my cropping. Anyway, you get 200 XP each, Anwar and Renlin. Um, uh, remind me, um, with the hero points things, I think we already had one. Yep. You, um, can, if, uh, you can have up to can... three. Um, remember that, that you can either use them to add a d4 to a d20 roll at any point, or you can use them to roll a d20 and gain that much experience. These are homebrew rules, folks. Don't, don't uh, geek out on me. I'll take the ten. Ten experience? Uh, fair enough. Uh, all right. <laughs> I have 19, 11. Huh. Nineteen eleven XP. I've got fourteen twenty-five. Uh, and don't quite blaze it. I will. I will say. Uh, next yeah, week we are actually in a position where we'll, uh, where we will be taking uh, taking the story to both sides as opposed to just focusing on one uh, one team. Uh, mm, so I think I we're getting closer together. Things are definitely happening. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching, folks. I'm going to end my stream now. I don't know what Laurie and uh, Mike are doing, but. I will uh, catch you later. We're going to move on to Hands of Fate.